Welcome back to another session of the Gilded Dice. Oh, and it's our first session of 2018. Happy New, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Our uh, our D&D New Year's resolution. Whoa. I'm... Huh? I'm... <laughs> Sorry, someone's, come... oh, someone's outputting their Twitch to Discord right now. I'm just hearing myself 30 seconds in the past. That's right. <laughs> Breaking me out. Are you sure it's not you? It's still, it's still happening. Can we please stop that? Who is watching the stream? I'm you? not. I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not. not. I'm not. I mean, I opened it, but after you said something. Oh, it's himself. Oh, it's me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't opening it through Discord. That was just your computer. Oh, jeez. I just. Love Otherwise, we would have all heard the it. calls coming from inside the house. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting again. 2018 New Year's resolution is not to be a bad DM, to you know, be mindful of what I have opened and not be an idiot, and also kill one of my players. So, last wait, session. What? Oh, I mean, wait, last... wait, one of your players or one of the characters? <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's a pretty big distinction. All yeah. right, let me let me clarify. So last session in 20, uh, 2017, <laughs> you guys were in the <laughs> the shrine of the eye, the eye of the All Father, the shrine built to Amon, the deity and god of the giants, where you communicated with the Oracle to try to find out what the hell was going on. You spoke to the Oracle and asked her six questions. Nice thing there, Bobin. Uh, you asked her six questions uh, regarding where the oh, giants were. Yeah, nice thing. I what? See why the Oracle? <laughs> why the order name was abolished? Who was this strange cloud giant that had appeared and sacrificed another giant in the presence of the Oracle? You learned all these sort of mysterious things. <laughs> and the locations of Uthgard Barbarian Mounds, Burial Mounds, where you were to go and retrieve ancient artifacts that were stolen from the giants and use them in your journey to Maelstrom while you tried to retrieve and recruit the giant lords. And as you exited the Oracle's presence, you confronted. You were confronted with a strange giant, a female giant, cloud giant, who taunted and goaded you, and mocked you, and it was later discovered that she was in fact a. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Because is is the Twitch still broadcasting? Yeah. I don't no. think it is. I think I you see. killed it because there's a new video now. Is it an ad? No, it's like a three-minute video. No, it's a minute and a half video. Still, still alive for me. Oh, wow, well, there we go. Spoiler alert that Dragon was Immorath, the Queen of Stone. You guys managed to get away, but not before Harshnag sacrificed himself. As you guys exited the mountain, confronted with impending doom, you were saved by a flying boat, an airship of Dragon Cultists, delivering their gift to you from Cloth, the ancient red dragon of Faerun. And you're all captains, apparently. Oh yeah, and also, uh, Wilbur Bane is temporarily Sir Arthur Luke, if I recall. Sir Arthur Luke. Yeah. That is my name. All right. Wear it out. All right. A lot of technical difficulties as, as usual, but let's switch this over to... Mm -hmm. I already lost my music. Ah, here we go. So... You guys find yourself upon the uh, the airship that you have named Parshneg the Grim. The airship Grim, named after a dragon with a bunch of dragon cult, or a giant named after with a bunch of dragon cultists around. The previous commander, Delsafine, had given commands to the five of you, and the ship is yours. With, your, with its crew, they will do your bidding. The ship was equipped with a large harpoon gun on the front and a ballista crossbow on the back. It's powered by a fire elemental and an air elemental with a crow's nest perched on top of the balloon. Oh, great. You find yourself soaring over the lands of Feyru below. Delsephine, I'm curious how you came to know that we were at the Eye of the Allfather. She stands up straight in her kind of uh, militaristic style. She says, The Great Clouth has been watching you. He has sent us here and guided us to your location. Power beat to Cloth. Using divination magic by chance. 
Scrying magic, sir. He has been watching Harshnag. Oh, is that so? Was there some particular interest in Harshnag? The Great Cloud takes joy in watching the giant suffer. And Harshnag killing his own kind has brought great pleasure to the Great Cloud. Old Snarl Red of the North. It's... Yes, I, I imagine that it did. And what uh, what exactly drew Clouth's attention to us in the first place? Did he hear news of our previous exploits? He has. And he has noticed you forming a bond with Hershnag. Your actions and your your goals are in line with his. The Great Clouth may live forever. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I turn to the others and I say, Well, now that we have a vessel, what should our first destination be? I mean, didn't there was we something about say collecting relics of yeah. some sort? The burial mound? Can you share the burial mound map with us, yes. DM? You should have it. I do not have it. Ooh. Stand by. And it's coming to you now. Who has this map? Oh, oh yeah, sorry, sorry. I I, yeah, okay, cool. Um, so you are here. So every single one of these is a burial mound. I so know. as you as you guys look wait, at the wait, map, wait. the axes are burial mounds. Yeah, you start to you start to spot uh, obviously the names of well-known locations such as Tribor and Neverwinter and Yartar. And uh, yeah, as you can surmise, the X's mark the burial mounds. Well, it appears there's one not too far from here, at the Great Worm Cavern. I'm up for that after a sleep. Uh, how how long would it? I show them. I grab the map and I show it to Delsephine. And I say, how long would it take to travel from here to this location? Well. Or it's the world map for you guys. You can peruse the map. All right. So. I want to know, like, is there one of those um, on the map? Is there one of those locations that seem to be close to the Silverwood? Well, yeah, Emerald definitely. Lake? You can look at the. You can look at your map and try to compare it to the world map here. Yeah. So I'm basically. Asking help somehow. Can you so like, can you uh, as, you, as she points I, to uh, as you point to, to uh, the Great Worm Cavern, which is about just to the east of where your current position is. Ooh, she she thinks about it. She says, "Ah, that should take about a day and a bit. Not too far from here. We just crossed the spider of the world over the mountains, and we should be there in no time." So then you'll have plenty of time to rest, Wolverine. We can add. Head out at once. Perfect. I'm gonna head down and find myself a bunk. All right. I'm gonna no. do the same. As I, I'm just kind of like grasping on what, to. What guys? It's just life. like the beginning <laughs> of the day. I mean, it's like what? Like, you guys are so tired already. What time is it I actually? Look, I look at her with like it's... blood dripping down my face. <laughs> as, <laughs> as you guys recall, when you exited the shrine, it was near dusk. It was it was getting dark. It was a blizzard. It is nighttime. Crew members it's going night around. Time. It's approaching night. I feel so fresh. It's that, it's that cozy, cozy blanket you got wrapped around you. <laughs> it's that, it's that uh, cozy teleportation door that you had wrapped around you. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't see anything that happened behind. All right. So you guys head down below deck, grab some. Some of the bunks. There's two bunks and two hammock bunks in each of the rooms. I'm gonna go with wherever Rogadar does. Rogadar, are you going to sleep right away as well? No, uh, I'm oh. down for talking a bit more. Okay, I'm staying up too. Yeah, Lucius is staying up as well. I still feel great, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're long gone, Rogadar. You could have me out here Lucius. when they were still around. Um, All right. So, if I recall, the Nightstone was one of these relics, and it was 
fairly large. How do you guys suppose we are going to <laughs> carry these around with us everywhere? I mean, I can put them on the ship without a very big problem. Okay, problem solved then. <laughs> I love how trusting Rogadar is. No more questions asked. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be easy peasy, Rogadar, don't worry. Perfect. I mean, how big do you think they are? Like, 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 like my size? Um, how big was the Nightstone one? Oh, it was like a, it was a tall obelisk. <laughs> like, probably I mean, taller than Rogadar, right? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Yeah. It's solid, probably 11, 12 feet. How, sorry, do you guys know about these things already? Do I know about yeah. this? Well, I mean, you should have stayed up, Cortion. Yeah, you're downstairs now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Out of character. <laughs> he, yeah. He muses. He muses this to himself in his bunk. <laughs> <laughs> He's listening through the cracks of the floor. <laughs> Good, yeah, it's, it's really creaky. No, we really didn't nice. hear. We didn't hear anything about what the actual relics are, but we we know of one giant relic oh. from past adventures. Okay. But I mean, last time the big, the big one, Wolverine. No, the big, the big. What was his name? The what big. Was the, what was the, the last rune one? guy was carrying it around? What? Um, well, the last Your one. Your was... friend, Lucius. You, you had a friend back then. He was carrying around just a fragment of it that was remaining. Oh, but we we believe that those runes. The are artifact different, right? itself was taken by the cloud giants. You may recall. Okay, I want to make a history check. I want to know if. What they're talking about? Would I know at all? Like, if it it would be sensibly the same size as what we're aiming for? Is there any way I could kind of know that? Well, so, uh, they'll just... likely be the same size as, for example, the conch. Well, are... the conch I was able to carry out by myself. With help from your bag of holding, yes. And that's that's true too, but that also means that I'm not worried about carrying it. Also, that now I have more spells that can help us. Right? Yes. The crew. Yes. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but uh, I mean, you know, you're looking for artifacts. Whether that means they're all the same object or different things, you're not really sure. I'm sure that when we see it, it'll stand out among. Such a place as a burial mound. All right. Anything else before we, as you guys journey through the skies, the yeah. crew, the crew take turns throughout the night, uh, sleeping and resting. But uh, at any given time, there are two crew members uh, on the top deck. One manning the furnace, and one manning the uh, the wheel. Okay. So That's, before I go uh, to sleep, how many like how many Short rest of um, obje object observations. Can I do what? One. Okay. So uh, before I go to bed, I want to check out that amulet that I took from those barbarians before entering the All Father Sanctuary. Right. I will also spend time attuning to the Staff of Charming. Okay. All right, so Zaya, you uh, you take the little amulet that you pulled off on the the Uthgard barbarians yeah. that was trying to enter the uh, the shrine. You recall these these barbarians had these kind of uh, these drawings and these uh, these patterns that are shaped like worms, like giants. Um, yeah, it was called the of amulet wings. of the gray worm chief. Yes, um, spend some time to that, and you uh, discover that the the amulet is an amulet of proof against detection. And location. Uh -huh! That's good. Protection and detection. <laughs> it's pro. It's proof against against detection and location. Oh. Uh -huh! Oh. Okay. Well, I actually yelled, so I mean, Rogan, I would have heard me. Essentially, with this this item, Rogan doesn't pay attention to her yelling. It's a normal thing to happen. <laughs> Essentially, this this amulet pr pr uh, protects the wearer from it basically allows you to be hidden from divination magic. You can't be targeted by magic or perceived through magical scrying sensors. You become invisible, essentially, to magical detection. Okay, so I'll go to Rogadar. I look at him. He's not paying attention at all. Nope. So I'll walk up to him. Yo, Rogadar. 
<laughs> Roy, oh, there you are. Yes? Yes. So, listen. I just found something really, really interesting. What What are you wearing? You're wearing your, your magical cloak, and... I'm wearing you're... some armor, you're... and yeah, I'm carrying a glaive. Fine. Yes, that's fine, too. That's all you have for a magical item? Hmm. Technically, two would be attuned. The cloak was an attunement, right? I don't believe it was. Okay, okay, so then what's the other one? The glaive? Uh, the armor and the glaive. Oh, you have... You have attuned armor? Yo, the most fancy. basic of basic armors, yes. But still. I mean, I don't have that. Just saying. Anyways, so listen. Remember when we fought these barbarians that were really, like, not looking like Wolverine at all? Inside uh, the temple? The ones that took two fireballs to the face and then died? Basically, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I looked at them and, and I found this amulet on them. And um, it's actually just something that I think we should use sometime soon, I guess. What does it do? Well, it's uh, an amulet of proof against detection and location. Therefore, I mean, we all know that we've been spied on quite a bit, a lot, too much so far, I guess. I think there's a ancient green dragon that's probably currently watching us so yes, yes i get the point and i think a red one as well so i mean I, i'm getting a little frustrated about that i don't like when everyone sees through me you know uh but i already am wearing an amulet i mean i'm wearing a necklace actually so i mean i can't wear another necklace above my necklace i don't think can i i don't think i can anyways do you want to wear this necklace or no um does the necklace look cool i mean does it require it to mend the you didn't say that um, well... Well, it looks very, like, wild and barbaric. It's, it's, yeah, it's pretty barbaric. Like, it's pretty looking at it. It's made of, like, bone and, like, rough string. I mean, what are you with? It's got little like charms hanging on them. Teeth and fangs and claws. It's, it's very crude. Mm, it doesn't yeah. look well made. Maybe Wolverine would like it. But, I mean, like, there's more chances of me staying close to you. I mean, no, that's not true. It's pretty cool guy to hang out with as well. Um, so, okay, I'll offer it to Wolverine, I guess. Alright, well, Wolverine's in his bunk. Are you going to his room? I'll go see if he's asleep. I'll knock on his door. Or no, I'll just listen. Is he snoring? I don't know. Are you asleep, Wolverine? No, not yet. <clears throat> you don't hear snoring through the door, Zion. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll knock. The little knock, poop, 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 on your door, Wolverine. I open the door. Hey, Wolverine. So, uh, and I'll say exactly the same thing I just said to Rogadar, so about having an amulet of against detection and location. And I'll check on Wolverine to see what he's already wearing, which I'm assuming he's wearing bracers and is a tune to also a weapon. I'm wearing bracers, I'm wearing a belt. Ash. I'm not attuned to a weapon. Oh, okay. Right? Mike? Uh, no. It's a plus so. one axe, and that's it. It's not, no. So, yeah, look, this amulet would suit you so well, but it would also protect us from being squared on by those dragons, and possibly also some giants. Well, what's the range of. Is it. If it I wear happens. it, it's just me? No, just, I think or it's just. Like an area. Or like oh, there's an area of effect. Just yourself. Oh. Well, that changes everything. I'd like it. That'd be cool. But what's the point of having just one of us? Not... Is it also attuning, Michael? Uh, let me check. I, I, don't, mean... I don't believe so. Okay, because then is there's no... Uh, yeah, sorry. It does require two minutes. So, like, what's the point of having... If it's just I don't remember if anything else that, that I'm wearing required two minutes. I don't remember tuning anything. Uh, you have braces, braces and your belt, too. Sure. Braces yeah. and belt? Yeah. yeah. And how many things can I wear? Two. I think it's two attunements. Uh, three attunements. Three. Oh, three. Um, let's see. I don't think I'm wearing anything else. <clears throat> nope, not. Okay, so do you want this amulet? Clothes. Yeah. Okay, but listen. You owe me big, Wolverine. Well, I could give it back when you want it. <laughs> no, I really don't want it back, but I want something else. Anyway. Are you giving me something that's worthless to you? And you want something that's worth something. Okay, fine. I'll keep it. And I found someone else that really wants it more than you do. 
You know it's gonna look really good on me. <laughs> yes, but it's also still worth it. But like, I always come with you shopping, and I'm always so supportive of you. Yes, but that's like, that's why we're even. And now what happens after I give you this? It makes us even? More even? <laughs> okay, I mean, more I, even. I owe you one. I owe you okay, one. good. I give him the amulet. Alright. How Please long does it take to attune? Just a short rest. Like, you're doing your long rest here. I'm doing you... my long rest. Yeah, yeah. So you go back, to, go back to your quarters and try to get comfy again. Try not to rip the hammock from the walls from your heavy weights. And you spend time to tune to this little crude amulet that looks great on you. It's... Does it have a name? Yeah. It's the I'll... Amulet of Proof Against Detection and oh. Location. I'll post it. Cool. I'll post what I wrote down in the chat. You can call it whatever you wish. Amulet of Proof. Yes. Cool. All right. All right. So, anything else you guys want to do before we head to bed? No one just cry well, on me. Don't eat my olive cake. Okay. I will go find the room. Do we have each one a room, or is there? So you guys find your rooms. Uh, Lucius, you staying up top deck. Rogadaria. Yeah, I have questions for Delphine mm-hmm. after the others retire. All right, Rogan, are you heading to bed? Yeah, I'm heading to bed. All right, so you, you find a, find one of the empty rooms, and Zaya, you uh, you follow Rogan in. Portiano will have retired to their rooms. Lucius, your top deck, you notice some of the other crew members now have are uh, kind of heading to the remaining room. Finding a uh, place to sleep. Is Delphine still up? Yeah, she's the little, the little pink one. Yeah. Um, I know, I just moving people around, so... Uh, I approach her and I say, uh, tell me, Delsephine, uh, you and your crewmates, have you been serving the ancient red dragon long? Uh, she's kind of just gaze out, checking out the surroundings of the ship. Uh, she says, no, not long. We're all fairly new in the service of the great Klaus. This is our first mission to prove our service to him. I see. And when he... Did he ask you directly to do this, or do you have superiors which which uh, commanded you to do this? He asked us directly. From a group of new recruits, he handpicked all eight of us. Six. Nine so of us. So then you have <laughs> spoken so then you have spoken with the great dragon yourself. <laughs> eight of us. There was nine. One fell off the boat. Uh yes, we have been in direct contact with the great Cloth, the mighty Cloth. Though we do not dare gaze into his eyes, we look at his feet. The mighty cloth. I see. And uh, and tell me, I, I, I have never encountered this dragon myself, as I'm sure you are aware. Yes, sir. What, uh, is he, is he gracious to those who serve him? She, uh... She nods and says, we, we haven't been in service of the Great Cloth for very long, but we have heard great things. And uh, have you heard what manner of rewards he gives to those who serve him faithfully? I have not, but I hear that his hoard is great and his wealth is plentiful. He definitely hates the giants. So if you complete this task that he has requested of you... I'm sure he would reward you greatly. I see. And uh, and you believe? Do you believe that? Uh, did he give you any specifics as to what he wants us to do to the giants? Uh, I mean, I mean, certainly he cannot expect us to eliminate every giant in existence. That would be ridiculous absolutely sir um and you call it uh, as they had come to the ship uh he had he had uh, requested or she continues to uh, to recap that uh, the great cloth had requested that you slay their leaders so that you may prevail ah, yes. in, your, in your journey against them and the bring giant them down. lords then so the yes. goal the goal is the giant lords Each your of- goal is our goal sir <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, we uh, 
we certainly appreciate you arriving when you did. It was, uh, a, uh, a bad situation all around. Did, uh, tell me, were you aware that there was a dragon at the Eye of the Allfather when you picked us up? Sir, yes, we were. The Great Cloud is mighty furious with the Great Imorith for intruding on his territory. And thus, wanted us to rescue from her just to sm spite her. I see. So Clouth is so Clouth is aware then of uh, of uh, Emerith's activities. The Great Clouth is aware of all activity in the North. He rules the North, and no one flies through his land without his knowing. May he live forever. Tell me, are you capable of communicating with the dragon? Say, if we wished to ask a question of him, we are not. It is our duty to perform his, the task given to us to the best of our abilities and that he may trust us in doing so and we come back victorious. May he live forever. I see. And I am supposing that he has not uh, shared with you any information about Emerith's intentions. No, sir. Our job is strictly to serve you and protect you to the best of our abilities and fly the ship wherever you may go. Well, Delsafine, you're doing a wonderful job so far. Thank you, sir. And I expect that this uh, this uh, partnership is going to uh, work out for the fortune of us both. We are not in it for the fortune, good fortune, good sir, Captain. Merely for the glory of the of cloth. <laughs> yes, well, I am sure that you'll be well rewarded by the time this is all done. We don't seek reward, but I hope yours will be plentiful. And she turns around and begins to uh, inspect the ship. Um, I bid her uh, a good night and retire to a room. All right, you find a room that's not packed with individuals, either with Cortian or Wolverbane. Let's go with Cortian. All right. He's, <laughs> he's slipping through his room. I want to give him. I, is he awake when I come in? <laughs> I you find you find that the, the door is kind of like jammed. His shield is in the way, uh, and it was it was almost purposeful. Do <laughs> <laughs> you still go in though? It's it's you. You're able to shove it past, and and he's like meditating before before he goes to sleep. <laughs> well, I was already going to give him a dirty look, but now I'm going to give him a, an especially dirty look. <laughs> As he, and, uh, he, he, he wakes from his, his meditation and, <laughs> and returns the dirty look. <laughs> I want to uh, pick up his shield that was jammed in the door and just toss it against the wall. Oh my gosh, the love uh, Find uh, Find a place to settle in and I'll sit down and begin writing in my journal. Alright, you saw I, uh, there's a little before, test. I wanna like uh, I, I scramble and, and I wanna hide something in my bag from from sight. Ooh. Alright, you do you, you throw it in your hand. Do uh Lucian, are you paying attention at all to Cortion? Well, well I, I mean I was giving him dirty looks. Yeah. Well like if this is something he's trying to scramble to hide right when That's I come right. in, the first thing I did was look at him. Yeah, okay, so. make a slate of hand check versus uh Lucia's perception. Don't worry, though. I have terrible perception. <laughs> Do I need to make a roll? Do yeah, make a slight, yeah, of, slight, of, hand. slight of hand. But it's it's dark quickly, you'd have, you'd have nice. advantage. Oh, there's lanterns on. You know, it's like... It's uh, a moonlight coming through the portholes. Oh, snap! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you quickly shove, shove whatever it is into your, into your bag, Quartion, not before Lucius spots you doing it as you fumble a little bit with your hands just it's, uh uh see it, it it looks like um uh jars of of uh like a white paste of some sort and and um a white paste and uh just a, a something to a um uh, like a, apply it like a, a not a a solve um a salve, a salve yeah. of some sort uh, okay. Lucius just kind of gives a sideways <laughs> glance, um, but doesn't doesn't inquire. Just kind of goes over to his corner, sits down, procures his journal, and begins writing. All right. 
And so begins the awkward long night. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else before the night ends? Uh, I call the hammock. Yeah, okay. You call the top one or the bottom one? <laughs> uh, top, top hammock. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. So then you, the rest of you guys go to bed. Mm -hmm. um, you know, throughout the nights, the boat creaks and, and sways as it continues moving on. Uh, once in a while, you, can, you hear if you're, you know, it's hard to sleep a bit as they, as you sway in your hammocks. Once in a while, a couple of the, they rotate out the, the members of the, of the team, switch out uh, roles. You hear them walk through the hallways as it creaks and, and whatnot. But it's generally a quiet night. It's, uh, it's quite comfy, actually. Except for Lucius and Cortian, who are nestled in an awkward room by themselves. <laughs> uh, but uh, you're waking up. You're woken up by the the, the, the light of the sun uh, beaming through the portholes into your face, and it wakes you up. It's, it looks like to be a nice cloud, a nice who, sunny. Who does? Day. Because like I mean, the sun would come in from one side or the other. The ship just rotates for a second. It's how they wake the alarm clock. Just <laughs> and so everyone gets a little bit of taste of vitamin D, um, and it seems to be to be a, a really bright day. And not a cloud in the sky. Oh, my type of day. It's so nice outside, Rogar. Mm, um, as you guys, it is nice. As you guys wake up and uh, go about your morning routine, uh, Delsaphine comes and knocks on each one of your doors and says, We are approaching the location you specified on the on your map. We should be there with our, within a couple of hours. Ah, already? Oh, that was fast. We got nothing to do. We got the... <laughs> What's for breakfast? Uh, we have... Various rations and goods stored in the in the in the, in the hold up front of the ship. If you wish to go through there, you may find some some rations and food and drink. I mean, as soon as I wake up, I want to do another um, short rest. I want to identify some things that I have on me. I am going to go look for the rations. All right. <laughs> I join Wolverbane in looking for the rations. Yo, bring me something back. <laughs> There while I'm too busy looking at this necklace. I'm looking at Zuby on this necklace now. Sure. What's my um, uh, what's my my exhaustion now? Oh. Uh, you were at one point, so yeah, I would say it's gone away now. Also, cause you, but you died. Uh, yeah. So he died, and then. I would have so been I... one point. We'll say it's gone. We'll say that after dying, and it kind of eliminated that exhaustion. It was, that, it was that the cozy one. hammock. That hammock just yeah worked out all the kinks. But it was also it was also awkward though, you know. Lucius in the room. There's just that odd. Yeah, he, maybe, just, maybe you are still exhausted. I'm just exhausted because I didn't get any. I didn't you're, get a restful sleep with me. <laughs> you're just mentally exhausted. Pretty. She's poking me in the back in the hand. <laughs> um, all right, so the, you're slowly cast bless on Lucius every so often <laughs> just to see how he reacts. <laughs> Sprinkle a little holy water through the hand. You find your hammock on fire in the morning. <laughs> Uh, Wolverine, Rog on you. <laughs> Wolverine Rogadar, you head to the front of the ship, uh, down below deck, you find the storeroom. Um, one, of the, one of the crew members are in there, kind of just organizing things and, and whatnot. He greets you and says, Oh, captains, both of you, uh, welcome to the storeroom. Feel free to take whatever you want. We are well stocked. We can feed this ship for 100 days. And he kind of just goes through the uh, the area and says, We have uh, <clears throat> kind of points. He's a fresh water, cast of dwarven ale. Fine elven wine, and it's enough food to feed us forever. By forever, I mean <laughs> in a hundred days. We have fruits, vegetables, some meats, some spices. Meats. You can find whatever you want here, and it's all yours. You are the captains of the ship. That we are. You can you can call me Captain Sir Arthur Luke. <laughs> and Captain this Sir Arthur is Captain, and I point to Rogadar, expecting a name, Captain. Um, um, just Rogan is fine. And he, go, he does like a, like a, a very verbose bow and goes really low and says, Captain Sir Arthur Luke and Captain Rogonar for now. I am Laz. I command Laz. and I take care of the storeroom. So if you have any need to store anything in here or have any questions about my inventory, please let me know. I bet your service a great cloth. And he bows again. I think you're shaping up to be my favorite person on this boat. Ha! Huh. Uh, I try my best. Good, Sir Arthur Luke. So, Laz, 
Uh, you mentioned meat. Are there eggs? Eggs, yes, we have some eggs. You want some eggs? You certainly can have some. And he kind of goes to a little section. There's some eggs. Uh, dried meats and cheeses? Oh, yes, of course. Goes to the other side and uh, he basically just just it just perfectly well stocked for for whatever you need. Che- cheese is a good cheese is a good idea, but do we have any non-dried meats? Anything salted that uh, can be ah. cooked up a little, a little, uh, just a hint of. Ah, hint of Sir Arthur meat. Luke, that is a good question. It's a little hard to come by in the store, but I do have a selection. Kind of goes into a little area where he stored. He's like, I have it underneath this crate. You see, Oricus is one. I don't know if you saw him, but he's quite beefy. He likes to eat all my food, so I try to hide it from him. So, here you may have it, though. You are the captains of the ship. He kind of shows you through a little section he's hidden away for, like, raw meats. I've been so impressed by your uh, elemental technology. You have the, the fire elemental and the wind elemental. I figured you might have some kind of ice elemental in a box to keep food like this. <sighs> See, that would be too easy. I don't. Just, or I've heard, uh, I've, I've heard of cultures that hang up live animals and, and and just trim off trim off the meat whenever they need it and keep them alive. Well, we we I have done that before on occasion. Our hunter Perella uh, usually brings some food back and we string it off the side of the ship, let it air out for a bit. It's the best way to store them, I think. Just delicious. flying through the sky, dangling gazelle and deer from the back. So I will have. A large slab of gazelle, if you have it. He just like just Good, pulls, uh, out, like, pulls like a giant meat out of nowhere. I'm uh, I'm not too hungry, so I think I'll only have about a thirty ounce steak there. Oh, uh, no problem at all. And uh, f- fifteen eggs should be fine. Fifteen eggs? Well, at this rate, Sir Arthur Luke, we're gonna be out of our rations in fifty days. But that's no problem. You are the captain. We'll take care of it. He starts cutting up all the, all the meats and. Preparing of these eggs in a bowl, and, uh, and did you want to cook it? I will. I will take it up. Is there? A, is there a kitchen, or can I just use the fire elemental? I've always wanted the bonfire in front of uh, a fire elemental. There is a grilling rack that we can use for the fire elemental. Multiple uses that fire elemental. It's great. You can use it. Oh, it depends who's who's commanding at that point. Uh, trade is a little picky if you're if trade's commanding it, but. Uh, well, I am. Oh, you are the captain. I am the captain. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I don't think again. No, no disrespect, Sir Arthur Luke and Sir Rogodar for now. So you mentioned um, you mentioned Aurelius, quite Aure- quite a Aurelius. Uh, yes. Aurelius. 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 He's a, sort of a glutton. A glutton? You said he was beefy. Does that mean strong? No, I meant he was fat. I was trying not oh, to be disrespectful. But, but, is, but is he? But is he strong? Uh, yeah, I mean... Well, if, if... Okay, that's pretty much answer enough. I was thinking there was someone really strong that I could arm wrestle around here. But if not, if I'm the strongest guy by far, then oh. uh, that's no challenge for me. Brassic is the strongest one of us. If you're looking for a, a tussle or a fight or a, or a competition of strength, Brassic is the one. Brassic. I would... I think I'd know him by seeing him, I assume, if uh, his strength is... His mask barely fits his face. Just, his head's so thick with muscle. Alright, well, I grab my uh, my 30-ounce slab of gazelle, <laughs> throw it over my shoulder, <laughs> got the eggs. Uh, I look at Rogadar and say, Captain Rogadar, for this, now. Is for, this is for me, but you feel free to grab some own, some of your own food and join me. Yeah, I've already grabbed a bag of cheese and a bag of dried meats. All right. I head to the grills. All right, you head up top deck, and uh, you find like a section that's kind of built into the the chamber where the elemental is that they can use to like cook things in without getting too close to the elemental. Oh yeah, I'm eating. I'm eating a creature's body, heating it by a creature's body. <laughs> it's so it's so bad, but amazing. All right. I feel so carnivorous. So let's see if you guys go up top deck. Uh, Zai, you spent a little more time just kind of looking at um, the necklace that you have, kind of going through the items that you have. Uh, stand by. And it's a golden necklace. Nice. 
and on it you can see that there are there are little red beads little balls attached to it but some of them have been plucked off or or broken off at some points in the life of this uh this um, uh, necklace necklace that's what i'm looking for um you see there that at one point there could have been maybe nine or ten of these beads hanging from it uh you see there are four left it's still a nice necklace but four of them only are hanging from it um, it takes you a while to kind of just feel its presence, but you determine it's the necklace of fireballs. You can use an action to detach any of these little beads and you can throw it 60 feet away. When it reaches the end of its trajectory, it detonates as a third level fireball spell. And if uh, you can hurl multiple beads at once, and when you do, it increases the level to one beyond the first. Third level? Yep, it's, it's a third level fireball spell. You take it and you throw it. Ooh. So it could be just like Lucius. Um, Except I can throw mine 120 feet. <laughs> you could be like a, 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 like a made in China version of Lucius. <laughs> and all of my fireballs are fourth level. Made in Taiwan version of Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? Does it require two minutes? Uh, and this, it's, it's just like an item, so it doesn't require two minutes. Okay. Um, now, can I wear it as a bracelet if I wrap it twice around yeah, sure. my wrist? Absolutely. Okay, then I put it on. Okay, you wrap it around. It looks it looks nice. It's it's a necklace on your little gnome halfling hand, uh, halfling wrists. You gotta wrap it a few times before, but it dangles nicely and it's got some nice charm to it. And I go upstairs and I show it to my friend. All right, Lucius, you want to do anything? As you wake it up, Cortia. I mean, at some point, yeah. I'll go grab some breakfast, but other than that, just waiting to arrive. All right, so you head upstairs and you find your companions, Cortia as I'm, well. Uh, flipping through my book at the at the, in the morning and then grab a, uh, see what uh, Wolverbane's been frying up. Yeah, you can smell from down below. You go up there and you just you just smell of gazelle meats being burned on the fire element. It's great. <laughs> All right. I ask uh, Wolverbane how many how many BTUs that baby. <laughs> BT BTU. I'm sorry, I don't follow. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a barbecue joke. Just, uh, just I want to see I want to see uh, the grill marks on that bad boy. <laughs> Not too many grill marks. I I pretty much eat a blue rare. <laughs> just I just like you know, and then mm. man of taste. And does right. it taste? Does it ever? Uh, as you guys enjoy your breakfast and uh, and just conversing with one another and getting to meet the crew, your crew, as they greet you, captains, 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 um, you approach. Uh, Delsephine says, "We're approaching the location on your map," and she points forward. And beyond, you can see. Which one are you guys heading to? <laughs> can you just give me the name. <laughs> uh, go, to, go to your map. Which one are you guys going to? Is the Great word cavern? cavern. Great Worm Cavern. You can see a large mountain kind of nestled in the icy peaks of the, the spine of the worlds where you guys have just nearly escaped death. There's a large opening, a cavern that leads into, obviously, a cavern. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys there now. Stand by. So uh, while uh, we had time to observe the map, I mean, would I know which one is the closest to yeah, you're looking at the one closest to Silver Lake. Silver, silver. Uh, silver, is... silver wood. The emerald is by a green lake. Uh, the, yeah. You discern probably a stone stand or a grandfather tree would be uh, the closest to the silver oh, okay. wood, as they both are in, located in the in high between. forest. So it's it's in between the. No, they're just kind of equally far far from it. But, uh, all right. All right, let me bring you guys over. So these maps are a little wild, so bear with me. They're going to be tiny. And this is not even to scale tiny. Not this one. I can't go over far enough. It's not ever lived. <laughs> there we go. The roll 20 struggles. <laughs> I know. The airship begins to make its approach towards the cavern, Great Worm Cavern. Um, 
and it kind of descends low enough for you guys can to disembark off rope ladders the side of it onto the kind of edge that drops off to a, a dangerous cliff cliff edge and here you guys are the one square is 50 feet that's 50 feet yeah so you're bigger than normal so we're just gonna have to kind of just play with it but the the the, the ruler does work so it's a little wild Luckily, you did, guys. You guys haven't gotten rid of your winter garb yet. It's, it is quite chilly here. But you uh... like it. All right. I don't even feel the cold. You just tend to. Jeez, where is this? On my book. Page one seventy-four. All right. So you guys, lads. And land on the kind of it's it's kind of similar to the, everywhere else you've been up in the north. It's the ground is just caked in snow and hard ice. The ice, the sun glimmers and shines off of the the rocky face. It just glistens with along the ice, burning your eyeballs, Lucius. It's hard to look at anywhere here. But you basically landed on what appears to be the entrance of a large cavern. Should we search the area? Just head straight in. Can I do like a perception check around, just yeah, um, sure. looking at us? Anything? Anything? I guess not necessarily light or undead, like something. Yeah. Make a perception check. I do a perception. Check. Yeah. So you you take a look inside. Um, I mean, you do see a couple of warriors standing on high cliffs that. Are, they're, they're they're equipped with spears, and they have you can it, they're quite far from you, hundreds of feet away, but you can spot them kind of looking at you. They've they've seen the airship just descend upon the entrance of their cavern. Oh yeah, uh, your airship, the red, is a dead giveaway of your location. And you're watching as now you can notice on the lower ends that kind of the layer you guys are on. There are caves uh, situated all along the interior wall, and. A lot of, like, uh, hundreds of individuals are streaming out of them slowly. They're all talking, whispering. They're, they look to be women and, and elderly folk and children. They've all come to see who it is that has graced their presence here at the Great Worm Cavern. I kind of lean over to the others and I say, I thought that these were burial mounds that we were going to. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of people here. Yeah, I didn't think we'd have quite the welcoming party. I was kind of hoping it would be just something we had to fight. There's people. <laughs> Shocking. This is more awkward. <laughs> we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to talk to them. The airship just floats there behind you. Delphine just waves at you. Salutes. <laughs> does a close salute. Are these people looking over because we're making a, a big ruckus? Yeah, they've 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 heard the airship approach. And it's, it's they have their weapon drawn. The, tr the, tr the warriors up on the on the cliff, they do have their spears. They're holding their spears, uh, but they're you know you can, you can barely make out that they're looking at each other, confused. Clearly not like not wanting to. Uh, they don't look look too hostile at the moment. And the children are hiding behind their their grandmothers. The females, Wonder? they're all Wonder? curious. So these are all just like. They're our size people. They're not giant folk or anything. Yeah, they look to be like Uthgard barbarians you've encountered before. Maybe not this 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 version, you're not sure. It's too hard to tell from here. Okay. When we tried communicating with them before, they didn't speak common, right? Uh, you recall that they did not speak common. Did we this try could to talk be to them very the difficult. Wait. Wait, I have a new trick. <laughs> <laughs> Fireball! <laughs> I said I have a new trick. Like, why you, why speak their comprehend? language when you can kill them and then speak to dead? No, I expend one of the charm, uh, one of the charges yeah! of my staff of charming to cast comprehend languages on there myself. Okay, using your nice, beautiful, ornate, golden staff that no one thought was going to be useful. 
you kind of slam it on the ground. And oh, I knew it was <laughs> so I wanted this thing right away. Uh, you focus on for a moment, and you watch as the as Glucius begins to glow. This you know this nice purplish pinkish glow that just matches his attire greatly, and it just kind of focuses onto his throat, and then it whisks away. And suddenly, you feel more knowledgeable, Lucius, for the time being. I want to step forward. All right, so you guys are a hundred of feet away from the. Yeah, are you gonna make your approach into the cavern? Yeah, like I, I like you know wave to everybody to like move forward. Uh, All right. Be nice. Say, be there's nice. no, there's no sense like standing around here. Let's get this over with. All right. So you head inside, and you notice again all the walls are just covered in thick layers of ice. It's just an icy glaze and lined with massive icicles that gleam and glitter in the reflecting lights. The walls look extremely slippery, as as does the ground underneath your feet. I, I turn to Zaya and I, and I just whisper so no one else can hear. If, if Lucius is the only one that can talk and understand these people, we're going to have to trust his word that everything he says is true. I know. I, I, I whisper. I know. I don't. We're relying on him so much. It's not a good situation. And I want to clarify, and I say to Wolverine, I, I really wanted that stuff too, but I can't have both hands occupied. No, it doesn't make sense. As, as you guys like... enter and, and look, a lot of the, 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 the family members and the, the, the women and the children kind of scurry back into the caves and are just kind of watching you from the outskirts, not trying to get close to you. You notice that now that you're inside the cavern, as the light beams around, the up on the upper layer is kind of just scaling up the walls, appear to be ancient crypts kind of holes that were chiseled out and inside them you can just make out the figures of of upright bodies skeletal bodies being preserved in the ice and it just it just expands all the way around this cavern like multiple layers upwards all along the side it looks like they were warriors of great of olds or, or chieftains or or great individuals of their tribe have been encased in the ice can I do death. something? Sure. This is an action, like seeing those crypts. Like I can tell they're crypts. I can see. Yeah, you can tell. Like they're. It's clearly how they clearly honor their dead. Um. Just as like, you know, as like a twitch, uh, a nervous twitch. I just use eyes of the grave just to see if I can detect any undead. Um, okay. So what, was that? what does eyes of the grave do? Um, it's part of my grave domain, um, and I can occasionally sense the presence of undead. Okay. Um, as an action, um, yeah. I can detect undead until my next turn, the end of your next turn. So I don't know. Yeah. How long is an action? Six seconds. Okay, so like for six seconds, but it's only 60 feet, so. Okay. Uh, uh, you do get the presence of, you know, you sense the dead bodies just lining this area, but none of it seems to be undead. Undead, no, okay. It doesn't seem to be a presence of, of the living dead. Cool. Just, just death. Yeah. Cal resides here very strongly. This is his jam. <laughs> this is his jam. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> so I just wanted to confirm. I was, I'm reading Comprehend Languages. It doesn't let me speak the language. It just lets me understand it. Ah. So, uh -oh. not quite as useful as we had hoped, but better than nothing. At least we know what they say. Exactly. Do I, <clears throat> do I see any uh, beast animal uh creature around sure make a uh make a uh, a check a perception check 10. nope you do not see nothing so are these uh are these guards standing they're standing on this this cliff cliffs on either side of us right yeah they're kind and, of they're uh, being like i'm watching you guys their spears yeah. are kind of always ready to throw but they're, they're and they're kind of the closest the closest people to us yeah you observe that you notice that's not really other warriors around so they seem to be kind of the only line of defense as this is a pretty hard place to get to as you man guys mentioned fly here but are we within should... shouting shouting range at this point like if i were to shout yeah. something you, you kind of move in between the two cliffs and they watch you in the 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 residents kind of scream back to their caves and press your gate backs up against the wall and they're all chatting with each other lucius you hear them Kind of whispering amongst themselves, saying things like, "You know, who, where do they come from? Uh, are, 
are like, are, are they here to kill us? Uh, what is that great machine in the sky? Where where are warriors when we need them? Just <laughs> the general kind of talk. You assume from uh, scared. Folk. I, okay, I want to yell up to the guards. Uh, does anyone like? And I'll say like in common. Does anyone here speak common? And you just uh, you, everyone's voice just kind of goes silent. Just everyone goes silent. Your voice just rings throughout the cavern as everyone just listens to you. And they kind of all back up for a second. They caught off guard. The warriors bring their spears up a little bit more. And you just have to hear the slow whispers of, "What did he say? I don't know. What are they speaking?" I uh, I I put my hand up and I just wave like in a high welcome type of. A little kid kind of peers off behind her mom's furs, and she and she waves back at you. The mom quickly pushes her back behind, her, like, "Stay back, stay back." Do any of the rest uh, of us understand what they're saying, or just Lucius? Because it's some random language. Just, uh, just me. But I relay that. Uh, I relay that basically they they seem confused. They don't know what we're doing here, and apparently none of them speak common because nobody understood that. But yes. some of us, some of us uh, understand other languages. And they're not you guys, none of you understand this language. No, no I don't. Oh, I understand other languages, but yeah, none of us understood them before. Um, saying this to the group, then, do we just walk around and see what happens? <laughs> I mean, should we just, like, <laughs> give them something? Or just to show that we got peace? Like, I feel like we should give them some type of offering like do i see at the altar if there's anything that can oh angle. i have i have very good view as you as you can see at the bottom left corner of the map is you see there's a uh, large totems um, that are depicting serpents it's like a, a serpent with wings on it they've got totems situated everywhere and the altar itself also shows depicts a large winged serpents uh, that has a uh, it's made of made of pure ice like, does it seem like there's anything around it? Perhaps no. you should, uh, perhaps you should release coils, uh, <laughs> Rodar. Yeah. Maybe they'll see it as a sign of friendship, or even better, think of some kind of deities. <laughs> um, sure, yeah, uh, I sort of mentally command coils just to sort of fly around those two different altars that we saw with the winged serpents. And meanwhile, I'll tell- totems. I want to tell Wolverbane to, like, fill my arms with Cornucopia something. <laughs> uh, uh, first, 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 I ask Rogadar um, if he can see through Coil's eyes. Um, I can, but not You're at this current point in time. But I could in a moment or two. Rogadar, as you release Coil's this green-winged serpent, it flies into the sky, cavern high up, and everyone just gasps. <gasps> and they all point at at this winged serpent that flies up, and they. They all begin to kind of shudder and, and are in just awe. And you see some of them are pointing up to the, kind of whispering and pointing up to the altar of the wings of the ice statue, the uh -huh. wing serpent. They're all pointing and they're all whispering. And Lucius, you say, you hear them say, Oh, look, it's a sign. It's a sign. And it also down. does a loop around us a couple of times, then flies over and perches on the yeah, altar just, that they're pointing to. And they're all, and they all kind of, kind of are now looking at it. And they kind of kneel and start like you see them start kneeling and bowing, like in awe at this at this great sign that you just given them. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Let's go. Let's walk to the altar and let's put some fruit, man. Let's dump That's some. A good fruit sign. There. What kind of fruit do you think these people like? I don't know. Something like. Do from... we see? Do we see them holding food of any kind? No. Um, yeah. Big like... perception check, actually. I'll do that because I'm also. Just mine's a fourteen. Yeah, I'm the best of you. I'm the tallest of everyone. Yes, yeah. you see that there's a lot of um, like cold meats, like goat and yak and yeti meat up here. There's not a lot of things that grow, a lot of fruits, but you mm -hmm. see them carrying small kind of winter berries in baskets. Oh, that's good. If they're berries. if they're impressed by uh, a flying snake, maybe they'll be impressed by vegetation. Yeah, I guess. What like kind some of big what fruits. Should I, uh, big fruits. Like, oh, pomegranate would be good. <laughs> or like, yeah, let's do pomegranate. I think that. Or like pineapple. Yeah, pineapple would be cool too. But pineapple's too pineapple's hard cool to look up. Like, what if we want to impress them? They don't even know what a Chocolate. pineapple looks like. <laughs> <laughs> so, something we could just eat without, without like cutting it, I guess. 
Can I? Is, is there a way? Is, is there a way to do to randomly just see yeah, what pops out? Let's just do like. Let's just let's just random. The best leave selection to, of fruits. Leave it to destiny. <laughs> yeah, but like the best selection, like just like really good selection, right? <laughs> like right. like fruit salad. Bio Wonderful. and. Yeah, organic. Sure. Organic. Okay, Whoa. I get out. I get out the cornucopia of mother, or whatever, and. Wait, wait, wait! Do we walk to the altar first? Or no? It's up to you guys. Uh, okay, I have the I have the cornucopia in my hands as we walk towards the altar. Okay, it's quite it's quite a trek up to the altar, but you um, you you make your way there. And... I mean, I did walking to. Staring in awe at this this tiny little serpent that has flown out from. Uh... <laughs> Okay, so maybe we shouldn't put it at the altar because we want to give it to that, right? We don't want to give it at the altar. What? what I don't. What, I don't think. Well, I don't think it makes that much stuff. So how much? Like, like I've, we're not even anywhere close to the altar either. Like, are yeah. we gonna go further in? Like, we're like hundreds of feet away from the altar. Yeah. Can I see in those caves? Like, what are those caves? Are those like the? Yeah, you see that they're, they're kind of residents. They they, you can't really see into them. It goes deep within the ca uh, the cave. Okay, themselves. so let's just put him in front of the door. But these are where that everyone has emerged from. There's quite a population of, of people. So oh, there's okay. caves. So let's give it to them. There's caves on the right on the bottom level. Mm -hmm. Can we see from where we are those kind of indents on the upper level? Yeah, those are the crypts, and they kind of scale up the. High. That's where we can see the skeletal like yeah. figures, whatever. Yeah, okay. kind of just lining the inner wall. Okay, and the caves I on want... the bottom row. Those who are the people came out of. Yeah, so it's like, okay. those leave the tunnels where they reside deep in the mountain. Okay, so I think this is where we should do the corners of the tree. I want to head up toward the altar. Like, I'm just going to start approaching, uh, but I'll be listening, of course, to anything that might particularly notify me they're about to attack me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so meanwhile, I think I, I want to ask Will Bane if. Alright, roll, roll, roll a d20 as you shake the cornucopia and. You guys want to distribute it to the the, the folk of the Grey Worm tribe. All right. Oh. Solid forty nine. A D twenty, please. Oh, I said. Oh, I said. Because we're asking for good variety of food. Please roll good. Can I inspire him? Oh, that's good. I'll be back in one sec. <laughs> If you inspire me be uh, all right uh you uh you kind of shake it and you roll a 49 on the quality of the um quality of your cornucopia uh yeah the average an average amount and an average quality bundle of kiwis follow oh that's good kiwis are good small little green kiwis uh <laughs> the, the the folk that are near you who doesn't uh, love kiwis <laughs> the, the 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 barbarians that are close to you all shock and are jump back at the the mystical and magical display of, of fruit that just come tumbling out and they are kind of in shock they all turn their attention towards you i i i you grab should, a couple uh, like try to like should, offer it to them you should juggle them uh you offer it to put them put on a show put on a show they take it for you Zion. they, so they kind of they kind of sniff it lick it and okay, tossing so it around with one another i like kind of i like it. open it up yeah, you peel it and show them what is inside, and take a bite so that they know it's safe. And you offer it to one of the, the an, an elderly an elderly man who who tries it. And he, a, a smile creeps on his face, and he hands it to. Him. They all kind of just pile in and start peeling these things and just savagely eating this this sour kiwi. Okay, I want to take this opportunity. Actually, I kind of look to the side. I'm about to head toward the altar, and I look to the side, and I see the Zaya's kind of made friends with some of them. Um, I want to come over. Uh, and sort of kneel down beside them. I want to pull out my journal and I want to draw a giant on one of, like I turn to a blank page and I want to draw a giant uh -huh. and then I want to draw like I don't know like a a uh, rune, a frost giant rune. Yeah, yeah, like like something to. Like like, okay, first rock. of all, first of all, as I draw a giant, do they have any reaction to it? <laughs> make, make a performance check. <laughs> as you try to, uh, <laughs> you know, stick figures, not a lot of detail, kind of draw 
smaller figures beside a bigger figure with a giant circle and arrow pointing it, saying like, eat at Joe. Um, okay, can I help? I'm gonna do a minor illusion on the journal, on his drawing of an actual giant. <laughs> Alright, it kind of it kind of pops to life, Lucius, because at first they look, they look at their like one of them says, uh, <laughs> My my daughter can drive drop drop better than this. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so, suddenly, the, the the image springs to life into a, into a of a frost giants, and they all kind of jump back there. And the other woman says, "Are you sure she can drop better than this?" And she and they kind of just bicker a bit for a moment, uh, but they kind of gawk and awe at your at your moving frost giant paper. I turn to uh, I turn to. Zaya and I say, can you make an image of some kind of relic? Some, yeah. Some, uh, so like on the page next to it, I'll... maybe, maybe the the maybe the conch shell with ru- with runes on it or something. Yeah. Okay. So what I'll do is like I'll put like I'll I'll make a minor illusion of a I guess a circle rock with the symbol from that I had drawn from the conch shell. All right. On it. All right. We're looking for a piece of rock, right? We don't know what we're looking for. We're looking for some. We just got told it was a like giant relics, right? Yeah. We didn't get told what they giant were. Giant artifacts, kind of thing. Oh, artifacts. Artifacts. Yeah. Oh, so, shit. I so had in mind you kind of. Was... Since, you know, try to. I try to do different options. Yeah, I do. Diff- you kind of make different things, and they're everyone's starting to gather and start looking at it, and they uh, they're trying to figure out what you what you mean by. That. Uh, they kind of whisper amongst themselves. You lose you understand. They're, they're saying, "What are they showing us? What are they? What are they doing?" See more of that serpent stuff. Um, as they kind of look around, um, make a Lucius make a perception check. Twelve. You hear them. You kind of hear them whispering, trying to pick up pieces of information. But you don't quite. You're not really. What they're saying doesn't really reflect it's anything. It's not really getting through to them. Yeah. Okay, fine. Uh, I kind of... I look at Zaya, I kind of shrug, like, oh, well, we tried. I close my journal, put it back in my cloak, and start heading up towards the altar. I want to go up to the second level. Do any of these uh, these people have pets? Do I see... Um, there doesn't seem to be I'm any gonna pets. Go, I'm going to actually... Having the same kind of I'm gonna... gray worm... Symbol symbology and uh, patterns on their clothing and their skin that you, of those of those that you've killed in the the shrine of the elf on the elf on. I'm gonna follow up closely behind Zion and Lucius. All right, and I can presume everyone heads up. Then. Yeah. Right. Wait a second. Am I, to be... am I wearing? I'm wearing that necklace from that yeah. tribe that we you are. Oh, you that are. Tribe. Do they do they recognize it? No one's. Are you openly showing it? Well, like I'm not wearing. I'm not wearing clothes. Yeah, You're wearing like, I, it's, kind of, it's kind of just. It's embedded itself in your in your neck and you, I mean your beard. That's really bushy because your belt of dwarven kinds is pretty much attached to your bare fur of your chest. It's kind of just nestled in there somewhat. Uh, the frost kind of eating away or like covering it a bit from you, public. No one seems to have noticed it, as far as you can tell. Okay, I want to. What is this gong yeah. on our map? I want to inspect is. this. Yeah. Uh, so what you see there is gong situated near the altar of the statue. Um, it appears to be. It's on a kind of a crude stone frame that's it's, it's just floating there. And what it looks like is a um, a a circular disc about thirteen feet in diameter. Um, it looks cracked. It's missing a large chunk of it. It's. It's made of what appears to be red dragon scales, mm. bolted to a beaten copper frame. Uh, there's these ropes that kind of hold it to this, this stone, the stone archway, and it's uh, it's kind of being held there aloft. Is is there any of the folks that followed with us? Um, a few, up? yeah, a few of them kind of have pressed up against and have followed you up, but are they keep quite a distance from you guys. They're all observing you. Are they like some just? peasant like people or are they more of the warrior type people like, not, that followed us there's a handful of warriors here and there it's mainly just the citizens of this, this just cabin. curiosity yeah they've, strangers have landed on a flying boat they're quite curious 
Should how, we bring the gong? How large is how large is the gong? Uh, about thirteen feet in diameter. It's quite large. Is That's there anything drawn gong. on it? Uh, make an investigation check. Is there a hammer beside the gong for hitting it? Uh, there is nothing. Oh. Is there um? No, uh, Cortia, nah. Nice though. Old. Oh, is is there any other? Is there any other kind of like like is this burial mound like is there any decor anywhere like banners or uh, okay. torches like any kinds of decorations around? There are some carvings like uh, using some like like or some drawings using some ink of of worm like Im- imagery on the walls next to the crypts of the other dead, but you get the sense that this burial mound is the burial mound of their of their of their dead. Right. Okay, well, so yes, I... as all burial mounds are, oh, but uh, <laughs> but some cultures tend to decorate their burial mounds quite a lot. Uh, it's it, with it being a lot of ice and super thick ice. There's not a lot of room to accommodate. Mostly, I'm curious. Like, does this gong look out of place here, or is it? Does it look like it, you know, belongs? I mean, aside from it's aside from all, all the white and blue and ice, it's pretty much the only thing of color. So, right. they're, all, they're wearing kind of like gray dark furs and there's not a lot of fashion or, or banners right. or, and it's or made from dragon scales right it certainly is red red I kind of scale. I kind of muse out loud should we I I wonder if these barbarian where would they acquire such scales now if this was constructed by giants that would make a lot more sense. Do you just, want just to ring to it or just because I very much so do? <laughs> well, I'm not sure that ringing it would tell us anything nor benefit us in any way. <laughs> but it's a massive gong. What else are you going to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I would rather not do anything that might cause the, uh, the locals scene. here to be disturbed. I want to hit it. You just going to hit it? I Oh, and I'm saying it. I'm saying it loud. I want to hit it. Oh. Just hold on, hold on, hold on. I think we all want it to be hit, but let's just <laughs> wait a little bit before we touch it. I could okay. hit it so loudly. So, first of all, <laughs> I Can I make try... an arcana check? I want to try something sure. else as well. I want to try to do another... I want to try to do another performance... My first performance in front of him. What In front of these guys that followed us. I want to do some kind of, like, like bowing and, like, um type of stuff okay <laughs> and, and then do a big like where like huh like where <laughs> with my arms trying to and then like put my my eyes on the salute like looking for a location and then do again huh and then like bow and do like oh sort of thing right. i want to see <laughs> if i can figure out where did it go like where's their i know their altar is here but i mean it doesn't mean that this is where they do their they keep their stuff as well. Maybe right. there's another place. As sure. she's as she's doing this, I, I get a big shovel out of my backpack. Alright, Lu- right. you pull a giant shovel somehow. Right. And, and, I, I I start, and I start inching towards the gong. Uh, Lucius, you don't you don't oh, sense any man, kind of arcanic so arcana presence from the... Uh, I'm such a bad the bard! Seems to be, the shield seems to be just crude and old and... Okay, I just want to... I just want to, like, crudely, like, I know they don't understand me, but maybe something in my tone will get through to them. I just want to like point. I just want to point at the gong, like repeatedly, very emphasized, and just say like, "Where, where did this come from?" As you're, as you, as already unsheathing a, a, a shovel, he has somehow, and you're you're about to do that, Lucius. Uh, Zaya just she begins to hum, hum, <laughs> and saluting, and then she does like a bow and. She just slips on some ice and falls face first into the ice. <laughs> okay, and, I didn't roll a one. And I mean... gets back up and everyone's just kind of like, all, you kind of just hear the voice and Lucius, you point now saying, where did you get this? Um, there's much confusion now as they're trying to look at Zaya and Lucius and they look at a Wolverbane with, with the shovel and you hear Lucius say them just, just confusion. They're like, what, what is she doing? Is that is some sort of ritual? And wh- what is he saying? Why, why is he pointing to the cop? <laughs> Oh, there's just 
massive I, confusion. Have we ever have we looked at the altar at all? Like you haven't uh, aside from the from the distance right? the glance. Yeah, you haven't really. Uh, I want to approach so... while I, I I let them figure out what the hell's going yeah. on here. I'm gonna approach the altar with Cortion. Right. Yes. I'm still. I wanna, I wanna get away from Wolverbane before he <laughs> he does something. I'm still right. inching towards it with my shovel drawn. <laughs> I'm not. I'm pretending to not see that. And right. I'm looking at everybody else, expecting them to stop me. All right, Lucius, <laughs> make a make a perception check as you try to like you're trying to try to uh, piece some information as they're through the confusion of Zaya. Does Will, is Wolverman still holding onto his axe? He's Twelve is my magic no, no, number. I got, I got a shovel now. Oh. All right, we're gonna do this on a few order of things here. So, Wolverman, um, wait. I'm performing what? here. What? We go go ahead. I have the grand finale prepared. <laughs> no, no, hold on, hold. On. Bring this thing right now. Just please give me like until the sun moves a little bit more. That's that's a, a that's quite the analogy, but yes, I will. I'm gonna wait till you're done, and then. Then it's my turn. Ask them if you can ring it. I do not speak their language. I mean, what if something bad appears or like, I mean, if we can avoid something bad, I mean, we shouldn't touch this thing. I peep the altar. All right. So you look at the altar. Um, <laughs> let me just get here real yeah. quick. I'd like to take a look at the altar for any yeah. runes similar to that of the Nightstone. Sure. Uh, make an investigation check, but Rogan, uh, Cortian, as you approach first towards the, um, ah. yeah, it's it's bright. It, well done, Rogadar. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Cortian, as you approach the altar first uh, for Rogadar, you feel a presence enter your mind. Oh. Uh, and, and does it say anything to me, or just yeah. feel it? You feel it say something to you. Okay. <laughs> it says in a in a gentle sort of voice. Do you have a good or evil heart uh and i i think to it i think back to it um he's a pro at this you must <laughs> you must sense it uh that i, I have a, a good only good in my heart that i do Cordion. <gasps> you are who, he. who am i speaking to i am the great elrim the great worm of this tribe Wow. Um, I, I, and our, our people come in peace. We just, uh, we, we intend to look through these crypts if it's, uh, if it doesn't disturb your, your holiness. <laughs> I have sensed your intentions, good Cortion. However, I sense the intentions of Lucius as well. His intentions may not be so in line with yours. I make a, I make like a sidelong glance, but like, didn't even like try, like didn't even notice that I did it, but I did it so quickly. <laughs> what are your goals here? What is your purpose? We need to find. Uh, this is a an ancient burial ground that we need to to discover the uh, an ancient relic of the giants. Rogner, at this point, as you're investigating, you just see kind of Corkdown just standing there. I'm also anymore. kind of hoping Wolverbane rings the gong, so I'm constantly looking back there. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Zaya to finish her uh, her performance and give her the give her the finale she wants or she deserves. The voice says to you, Corkdown, and what artifact do you seek here? Guys, do we know? Do we know? Because I. We just know we, the location. We weren't told. We were just told yeah. the artifacts and the burial mounds. Yeah. Yeah. We know uh, it's like from for the giant stronghold, something related to Yeah. My stronghold. No, it has nothing to do with the giant strongholds. It's what? giant related though, right? It's my stronghold. They're giant. They no no no, like they uh, in and of themselves have nothing like they need to go to Maelstrom and we were yeah. told that the Allfather would imbue them with the ability to go to Maelstrom. So it's related to the Allfather. But we don't know that, like, they could have nothing to do with Maelstrom, they could have nothing to do with the Strongholds. Like, we don't know. We didn't get told any of those details. But they're related to giants, though. They are and giant well, artifacts, yeah. yeah. Um, and, and I explained to Elrim that uh, we, we were looking for uh, things that we will only know uh, what they are once we put lay our eyes on them. They'll be extremely uh, giant 
specific. Uh, you kind of hear a soft chuckle in your mind, and, and Elrum says, Perhaps you've already set eyes on it. Your friend intends to hit it. <laughs> and I, I, I do a 180, and I, I say, <laughs> Wait! <laughs> uh, it gets what? my attention, I turn. Turn, look at Cordion. And I wind up. Okay, I just start moving, and I, I stun Wolverbane. Phew! All right, you quickly. What? I missed exactly. Are, 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 are you going for the swing, Wolverbane, or no? What was the last thing I did? She was going to stun you with her pipes of soothing. If, oh, I'm, thought... I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Oh, I'm going to try and hit it. All right, so uh, it's a wisdom saving throw. As suddenly Zai turns and sees. Yeah. Yes. She pulls the pad pipe to soothing and she plays a quick di diddly as she tries to soothe you with your uh, passiveness. I mean, he doesn't know that. He's too busy looking at I the have, gong. I have such low wisdom. Come on. <laughs> 12. What's your DC? No! He's stunned. But as just you, for six As you go for it, suddenly the, the song of Eloise you, kind of brings you back to the time of Anakil's almost demise. And it brings a tear to your eye. And you, you think back of Elden who died. And suddenly you, you're just caught kind of off guard and. For six if, seconds. If, uh, for a, 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 a rounds. So we'd say like a minute. Is it a round minute? Well, I mean, it's changed it a bunch of times, so I don't know. Well, it's it's hard to do it out of combat. Sure. Yeah, a so round is technically day. six seconds. So we'll say, you know, for the time being, Lucius, you are more vain, kind of been subdued. Uh, you, you you, you, the, the, the music kind of rings in your head and you're, you feel a little passive. Suddenly. And then I'll say to Lucius, listen, I don't like doing this kind of thing, but I really... Don't want him to ring the gong now. I shrug. I say, I, why are you explaining to me? I don't care. <laughs> well, tell the others. Uh, I show. I show. That's it. That's what we're looking for. Uh, uh, El Elrum enters your mind again. Cordelia says, "That there is an ancient giant shield belonging to a old frost giant." That is the artifact you must seek. Uh, and I'm gonna... I, I yell to Cordion, Were our suspicions correct? Uh, that, that, that That's the artifact? Yes. Yes. And I, I, I confirm. Sorry, I didn't know if that's what our suspicion was. Wolverine didn't seem to treat it like a, an artifact. Well I, I, well, I said to everybody that I thought it was suspicious. but I will uh, oh, remove oh. the shovel from Wolverine's hand. Can she do uh, that if... I'm stunned with like a, like I'm about to, I, was, I was swinging so I got a really good grip on it. Well, you kind oh of like you kind of just passively just I mean you're standing there now. I mean she could try make a strength check. I mean so, is he still standing though, or he? I, I assume he fell. No, he's stunned. He's he's standing there just kind of contemplating and listening to the music in his mind. He's kind of caught off guard, oh, lost in his own world. Oh, I get it. If you want to try to pull it from his, make a strength check. Wow, I need to make a strength check. Or don't if you don't want to pull it from his hands. I'll try to pull. It. Um, all right. Uh, the voice though says continues on. Just Corteon. Strength. strength. Athletics. Um, Corteon. Uh, Elrin oh, says to. <laughs> A six. <laughs> uh, Elrin says to you. This artifact, this gong, belongs to my people. You have need of it. Um, uh, I explained to him. Um. I explain. I, I, I confirm. I, I say yes. Of course, we we've been looking for this uh, as one of the the first few uh, artifacts that that will help us uh, uh, in a in a quest. I don't know what to call this. A quest. <laughs> uh, a quest against. Um, uh, uh, shit. I don't, I don't know if I want to explain that to him. Um, in a in a in a, a holy quest um, that that my God has set us on. Is all I say. He says, I sense that your intentions are true. I can feel your mind. You we have don't intend. We don't intend to harm this this device, this this gong, uh, but we do need it. I can allow you to leave with it. If you do me one favor. Speak I it. Your help. This tribe that I rule has been fallen under the sway of an evil chieftain. One that seeks to bring ruin through war, bloodshed, 
We are a peaceful people, but the new chieftain that rules the Grim Great Worm tribe is evil. More so than your friend Lucius. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I would you all take notes? I would ask. Yeah. This, yeah, is, this is this is all news to Cordian. Yeah, this is that's dark. That's some big words. Right. I would I would ask that you hunt down this chieftain and slay him. His name is Chieftain Wormblood. Chieftain Wormblood. I I want to do because this is this is a statue we're talking about, and he just like jumped into my brain uh, and started <laughs> telling me. T started turning me against Lucius. I want to do just like a an intention check for a sec. Yeah, make an insight check. That's, um, I didn't think about that until like right now. That's sure. not I've got name. a question right now. That's has Cotion has Cotion been speaking out loud this whole time to the voice in his head, or is he speaking internally to the voice in his head? I he did, he say did mention I... thinking back. Yeah. Um, okay. I, I also want to know the the. The the worm name is not the same as the name the amulet that you. Uh, possibly, but you have not heard this conversation. Oh right. Um, Kortian, you kind of you feel out into the minds of this 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 thing that's communicating with you mysteriously from somewhere, and you feel that the intentions are true. Okay, okay. Um, that's good. I I just wanted to wipe that that that's like <laughs> clear there. Um. And now I'm, I'm like even a little bit more suspicious of Lucius, who, who's got me all torn up inside. <laughs> Saves my life, and I don't know what to think about him. <laughs> <laughs> really playing with me here, Alrum. Um, <laughs> I know. Uh, <laughs> I want. I, I need to. So I'm going to ask uh, Alrum. Tell us. Tell us where this uh, uh, chieftain Grey Worm is. Do you? Is he? He's. He's obviously not here, or he would have come out to, to greet us. And probably not the, the 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 nicest of manners. The worm blood has gone out with his warriors, seeking glory and riches, slaughtering other tribes in his wake. He's out there in the mountains, the spite of the world. I do not know where he is at this time. Okay. Oh, um, that might be good for us. Uh, we might be able to get sneaking away with this thing. So Lucius at this point is getting suspicious. Yeah, Scordion has just been standing there for like forever. <laughs> Wait, yeah. Lucius, help me! You need to take like, Cameron away from the gong before I just, it wakes up. I just ignore uh, Zaya and start walking toward uh, walking toward Cordion, and I say, "Well, how did you discover this then?" What are you uh, doing? <laughs> <laughs> I come to, um, and I realize that I've been kind of like staring off into the uh, into the trio over there and not really like speaking. Um, and I snap to you and 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 mention that um, I'm going to come tr come forward with the information and let them know that um, this this altar, this this uh, this shrine is is um, home to uh, a, what was the the spirit the spirit Elven, of the great worm. The Great Worm, um, and it's it's uh, inhabited by Elrim, the Great Worm, um, and that uh, that artifact right there is is I don't know how it relates to Elrim necessarily. I didn't really ask that. Um, I say it's it's uh, that's ar the artifact is is um, uh, related to Elrim, the the Great Worm, and he's explained to me that 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 that's the artifact that we seek, and he'll let us take it, but he has some terms. I'm close enough to hear all that, right? Yeah, you guys kind of kind of get together. And More then... at this point, so you snapped out of your kind of trance. You find yourself standing there now. Hey, hold for me, hold for me. I don't think you can hit this thing. I don't know. Did you see what just happened? I don't know what happened, but it, something prevented <laughs> you from hitting it. So hey, come with Cortion. We need to discuss. You're muted. I I wave him over. Well, like, well, if. If something was stopping me, I just gotta try harder this time. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 come, well, come here, out Cortion. He has some very wise things to say to you. You guys, you guys are good. I'm just gonna, you, no, like, no, no, I'll no, hit no, no, it, no. I'll hit this, and I'll come over. No, 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 come first. It takes, it takes no. three seconds. No, wait, 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 come before. 
I swear you won't regret it. Don't forget you owe me one, right? You have a very nice necklace around your neck. Is it? Are are you using? Are you using your favor right now? <laughs> no, I'm just reminding you that I I have. If yeah, but you can't hold you can't hold me owing you something for if if you're gonna say that now, then cash me man. coming yeah you're cash you're cashing in your, your <laughs> right now and I wind no, up and I I'm not cashing it in I'm just <laughs> reminding you that we have more important stuff to do and that you know maybe maybe it's better for you to just join us in the I I am strongly. I just... I just and like I, loud sounds. I give him big eyes. Yeah, but you can do um, it right after. Well, I, I, I say to Wolverine, I, I promise you we'll make some loud sounds. I promise you. Yeah, but I, promises I, us. I yell over to Zai, you're a hundred feet away. I'm here right now. <laughs> <laughs> I hit it. I, oh, no. <laughs> so you, guys, you guys have kind of gathered next to uh, Portia and Lucius. Oh, Portia. Mike, can you hear me? Yes. I said I, I, said I hit it. Stand by, sorry, I think I got disconnected. Hello? Oh, Hi. yeah. Do you hear me? Yep. Yeah, we can all hear you. Maybe that was fate. Maybe he's not supposed to hear me. <laughs> just check one, two, one, two, you can hear? I hear you. Yeah, we okay, can sorry. hear you. All right, sorry, we just, I just had the disconnection problem. Yeah, I didn't know, oh, I did hear that. Okay. Kind of hip up there. As uh, Lucius and Zaya kind of approach Cortian and Rogadar at the uh, the altar, and you guys are shouting back to Wolverbridge not to do it, you hear a giant crash. That was a loud <laughs> That just, that just bounces off the cavern walls in every nook and cranny all the way up and a few large icicles shake from the top and fall <laughs> down and shatters as the crowds all kind of gasp and scream and they all kind of run back into their home. I immediately start <laughs> listening to hear like what the reaction is to this. Yeah, it, it kind of, you feel the vibration to the grounds as it goes to the ice and Elrum says to you, Cortion. Yeah, I want to know. I ask, I... I yeah, I wanted to ask. I wanted to see. Uh, Elrim, what have we done? <laughs> this is a question you should have asked a long time ago. He says, uh, Elrim just says, he should not have done that. I just want to remind everyone that I tried to get... No one wanted to die. I, 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 I just want to... Safe. I just... I, I, I just, wasn't going to do it. I just want to remind everyone I'm minus two wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's... Uh, let me just get this sorted out here real quick. Uh... You guys, why don't you ever help me out? Like I, I, I did so much right. to keep Wolverine, from doing it. As you, as you kind of feel like it shake through your arm, the shovel, the boom, you feel it vibrate through your your pecs and your nipple rings of haste, and down to your feet, and you feel it almost feels like your feet crack just a little bit. I yell over to them. That was awesome. <laughs> and you barely manage to get that out as the ground around you just shatters and. Four creatures come shooting out from underneath the ice, all around you, Wolverine. Uh, <laughs> I pictured that was actually Lucius with that reaction. Basically, <laughs> not auditory, oh. but like oh, you see his things. head, his head go Smaller back. Smaller versions of what you fought in the in the shrine. Young, smaller versions of these Remmer houses. You seem to have awoken some sort of hibernating, uh, a hibernating clump of Remrahaz down below you. They come shooting under the under the ice around you, Wolverbane, and get a surprise attack on you. All four of them, as you're the only one there. So, get ready for this one, unraged man. Oh. I immediately I turn to everybody and I say, I say we just leave him. <laughs> for what, Lucius? We're on the same page. Twenty-five to hit, first one. I apologize to Elrim. Wolverine, can you hear me? That is. Uh, doing 19 points of piercing damage and 2 fire damage. Total of 21. I am going to. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? This is a surprise attack. Would I have a reaction to it, though? To a surprise attack? Can you, yeah. surprise, can you react to a surprise attack? Huh. Uh. Uh, that is a good question. I'm actually not sure. Um, is reaction? You just have to be able to see it or something. Uh, is this stones endurance by chance? You can. Um, it doesn't have to be, but no, yes, it I was says, thinking that. I don't 
He says you can either get a reaction against a surprise attack, yes. No, a sneak attack, yes. Surprise, no. Okay. So if you're surprised, you can't take a move or take an action on your first turn of combat. And you can't take a reaction until that end, that turn ends. So if you're surprised, uh, you can't take a reaction. So that's straight up 20, 21 points of damage. Wait a second. You can't take a reaction until that turn ends. I yeah. can get an action on this turn. If you're surprised, I get you can't... a reaction on this turn. You, if you're surprised, you can't move or take an action on your first turn of combat, which is which is this. This is the first yeah. turn, and but... you can't take a reaction until that turn ends. So until your first turn ends, you haven't taken a turn yet. So this counts as my turn. That I'm getting surprised. Yeah, your first turn is just you being surprised. Okay. Uh, I need a calculator. All right, this is gonna be bad, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just gonna go through all this. What's your What's your AC? You no, know what? they all hit. I'm just gonna give the I'm gonna give you the full damage now because they all hit. Do they now? Well, the band falls so you, unconscious. You get, it's all piercing damage and fire damage. You don't get any forces against those right now, do you? Nope. The only thing I worry about is them coming after. after them. Is that a calculator you're using? Yeah. yeah, you take 96 point of total damage. My gosh. Well, I am unconscious. As these, these creatures shoot up out of the ice, shattering everything around Wolverbane, they just dive in. The bo their, their body heat melts kind of the ice around them, and they just come up diving right down onto Wolverbane, just biting at him, just gnawing at him viciously. And you just watch as, as the ice settles, they're on top of Wolverbane, just chewing them alive. <laughs> Um, do they seem to relent when he goes down, or does it look like they're gonna finish him? Oh, off? they look hungry as they were hibernating quite a long time, and woke from their slumber, they have woken up hungry. Uh, uh, I'm gonna need anyone to roll initiative. Yeah. Hey, 15, that's pretty dang good. Oh, Never mind. Great. 18's better. Yeah, who's great? I'd be, I'd be 10. 18. Oh, it didn't beat 19. Uh, Wolverbane, you need an initiative. Oh, true. For now. <laughs> Alright, uh... Oh my gosh. I mean, that's good. <laughs> well, that's good, it's that's good. It's kind of good, yeah. <laughs> Lucius, you're up. <sighs> you see now the, as the ice yeah. settles and people are screaming, uh, Wolverbane has gone down. Alright, what do I have here? <laughs> oh, I just... Oh. oh my goodness, dang. Why is the map so big? Yeah, they're, they're quite far. I am going we, to... We, 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 could I feasibly launch a fireball that would hit two of them, but not Wolverbane? Based uh, on there. How far? Yeah, how far can you shoot? The I have a hundred and twenty foot range. Yeah, basically, you can kind of like blast like the exterior, pretty like in front, like kind of like closer to me. Exactly. To try yeah. to get the closest to. Sure. Okay, I'm gonna sure. launch a fireball then. All right, so dexterity saving throw. Yep. Thirteen and twelve. Both of those fail. Okay. Uh, Twenty six points of damage total. As as you guys turn around to react, you see, uh, Lucius just launch a fireball, soaring through a beam of red energy, and when it lands, just blasts out, shattering, uh, throwing ice ice against the walls and shatters against the wall, and uh, chunks of gl uh, icy glass just scatter across the ground and kick up the, the snow, and blast two of these creatures. To smithereens. And then I'm gonna move a full 30 feet away, like beside the altar. Okay. Of course, yeah. Um, they're pretty weak. Oh, you, you killed those two. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move up a little bit. Each of these blocks is 50 feet. Yeah. The, okay. the, the little ruler does kind of work. Yeah. It can be pretty loose with the numbers. So, what if I say that I'm here? That, that 30 feet ish 
Yeah, it's about 30 feet. Okay. Or York, yeah. It's like 72 feet away. Probably 65, uh, 70 feet, yeah. I don't actually think I can hit anything. Um, yeah, I can't hit anything. You can dash and make another 30 feet if you want. I think that's what I'm going to do. Dash is what? It uses an action or? Yeah, it doubles your yeah. speed in action. Okay. So you put you in the bottom left corner of this. Okay, I'm just going to see what I've got that I can use as a bonus. Uh, two seconds. And as you run, Elrin just says in your mind, I told you he should not have done that. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a heal that reaches that far? Uh, 60 something feet, 60, can we call it 60 feet? Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, it's pretty loose. I'm going to roll to say yes or no. Wow. Keep it yes. yes <laughs> baby. <laughs> um, and I'm going to, I, I, if, uh, uh, just kidding. That's 30 feet. I got a healing word for you. Okay. Um, I don't actually know what it does when you're down. Does anybody know what it does when he's down? Stabilizes, I think. No, it it's healing. Healing. no, it, it heals, heals him. Yeah, it just heals him. Yeah, yeah it does. Uh, heal. But he still needs to do the rolls, right? No, no, no. Oh, it just sweet. puts him up to whatever you roll. Oh, sweet. Yeah, baby, you're getting healing word, and I'm gonna do it at level three. Um, so you're gonna get three d four plus my spell casting. Sweet. And I always gotta remember what my spell casting is. Right. Okay, and that's my my jam. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, seven. Fifteen. Fifteen. So I hit you for fifteen. All right. Uh, as you you send a healing word out, you kind of uh, you pray to Kellen for you know, hope that's. Your companion won't die so soon. You want to write his name in, his, in your book. Uh, and your eyes blink open as you watch as these two creatures are still devouring back into you. And as soon as your eyes open, one of them bites right into your face. <laughs> and does uh, 26 oh, points of damage. <laughs> it, your part again. it picks you <laughs> and you're I'm sorry, Wolverman. I'm sorry. Hey, that would have uh, been... Uh, that would have been... One, yeah, that's true. one of my uh, that would have been, been two. Yeah. That two. Been two, and then the other one would have finished me off. Yeah, Rogadar. Um, well, let's see what I want to do. I will move um, thirty feet, and oh, then these are huge. Uh, might as well. I'll use my action surge to move sixty feet. Which puts me to roughly there. And then I'll just throw a second level magic missile at the bottom one. Okay. Uh, Fourteen points of damage to it. Okay. And that's my turn. Alright. It blasts into the creature. The remember has it. It's still viciously attacking Wolverine. Zaya. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um... I'm gonna. I'm, I need to be within. Um, feet. Can I move in range of open? Well, show me. What's 30 feet from you? What? Show me 30 feet from your position. Yeah, okay, they touch. So like by Cortion. You're up beside Cortion. And I'm gonna cast a healing word. Okay. On Wolverine. Okay. Um, level. Alright. Six! Hit boy! Hey, that gets me up. <laughs> yes, that's all that matters. <laughs> Again, I'm like, ugh, ugh! Yeah. I have like a, a bite mark in my shoulder, like... And I'll say, Wolverine, next time, remember- You hear, Wolverine, remember to- <laughs> As it comes back down, and <laughs> points you again, uh, pulling you apart, decide to throw you again to the ground, and you Wait, barely- Wait, it's still my turn, though. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he heard the whole thing. Okay, continue. Um, and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try this new spell that I have. I'm gonna do the hypnotic pattern spell. So, Ooh, that's a cool spell. I've yeah. considered taking that multiple times. <laughs> um, 
So it's a 30 foot cube. And. Well, it's gonna hit Wolverbane. I should have. Shit. Since it's still my turn, can I do this before I cast Healing Word on Wolverbane? No, it's too late. No. Okay, well, anyways. So I'm gonna cast that. Um, so they do a Wisdom Saving Throw against my Spell Deceit. Okay. Let's see. So. Oh, shit. Alright, fuck. These guys are actually they're immune to fire. Who's fire? Oh, uh, fireball. Immune to fire? Yeah. Or they should have been dead. <laughs> Damn it! Um, they failed the saving throw. So they are paralyzed and kept stated and they have a speed of zero for the duration. So, I mean, uh, guys, don't attack both, please. You know? Harry, right, what's, what's it do? Yeah, what's that? Oh, it makes them uh, incapacitated and speed of zero. Basically, they're charmed and they can't do it for up to a minute. Both of them and me? Well, I mean, you can do a wisdom saving throw at 6 HP. Oh, I do a wisdom saving throw right now? Yeah. And yeah, you're you're just as well as that. Hypnotized mm. by Zaya. <laughs> and while you're hypnotized, I'll repeat again. Next time, listen to Zaya. All right, Lucius. So sorry, they're like, does that count as incapacitated? You said. Yeah. So the attacks have advantage then. I'll try this one. The creature's incapacitated and has a speed of zero. Uh, they're not well, incapacitated is a status effect though, no? Yeah, it is, but the, the, you don't get it. You don't get. Um, you don't that get advantage against them. Incapacitated targets. Well, you it's... said you said they're charmed as well. Yeah. No. Well, they're... the charming effect is the. Uh, yeah. So they're you don't oh, get. Oh, it's yeah. An incapacitated creature can't take actions or reactions. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What about bonus? Okay, Lucius. Uh, I am going to fire two bolts of Eldritch Blast at, uh, let's say, the southernmost one. Okay. Which one's been damaged already? That hits. Second, the first one hits. Six points of force damage. How are you blasting? Anything else? That's everything. Corteon? Um, that one, how's he looking? He's looking pretty rough, the south one. Very Wait, I, missed, I didn't get a turn. You are stunned. Oh. Um, I'm going to instead of. Uh, is that the one that's about to attack him? Uh, you see. Uh, the other one is frozen. Though. The other one. Can't no. Move. The north one is about to attack. Oh right. North one's about to attack, and he's incapacitated. Yeah, right? he's stunned. He's stunned by this hypnotic. Okay. Um. So let's use on the southern one. I'm going to use sacred flame. Uh, okay. Which is radiance, not fire. Okay. And uh, just making sure it has everything that I. I don't know if the the game's gonna take into effect the higher levels. So at fifth level, uh, it's two d eight okay. radiant damage, plus my modifier. If there's a higher level of damage, it uh, should ask you what level you want to cast it uh, at. Yeah, let's try it. No, it doesn't. Yeah, I, I don't know how to do it either. So it's a dex save throw? Dex saving? No, it's There's a... More. It is a dexterity saving throw, yes. Sure. Um, that Fail. only did 1d8? No, it yeah. did 2d8. What's your modifier? 7. Uh, 4. Yeah, 2d8. Yeah, you have to add that yeah I rolled a 2d8. Alright, now that's enough though. Uh, as, you, as you call out radiant... Black radiant light. <laughs> Come shattering and smashing through. And it decimates him. Um, and I'm going to move a little closer just to get some of my other spells off. All right. Uh, this rumor has is uh, stunned by the hypnotic, hypnotic pattern that dances around. Uh, so Rogadar. Um, I can't even get it. Sorry. So I'm just going to throw another second level. Um, Magic missile at it. Okay. 
uh, for 15 points of damage. All right. And that's my turn. All right, Zaya. Uh. uh I guess I'll can attack it. Right, it's gonna wake him up. He's already awake because he got hit. Right, he did. Okay. Um. I'll do a. Sound whisper. Sure. So, DC 16. Oh, it succeeded this time. Oh no! So it gets, I don't know what, but half damage for sure. So it's six points of dis. Alright. Of. type of damage. And. Alright. That's it, nothing it, else happens. Nothing War, else happens. Warbaits continue to be stunned. Is it not, it's not a save every turn? No, it doesn't say. It's no. just stunned until someone wakes you up or you take damage. And it lasts for up to a Wait minute. Wait a minute! Did I lose concentration? If I use this on a whisper? Uh, you only lose concentration if you take damage or if you use another concentration spell. Okay, so no, it's still bad. Sorry. Or you okay. drop it on purpose. Oh, I, oh, I can drop it, actually. I can drop it as well because the other guy is not kept anywhere, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll just drop it. All right. What, Sounds hypnotism? Good. Yeah. So you're not you're not incapacitated. Well, well, why not why not wait until his turn's over? <laughs> the other oh, one's yeah. already awake. Your turn. It's your turn. Oh, oh is it? Yeah. Oh, it's my turn you, now. You're prone there next to Rimmerhaus now. It says it's Lucius's turn. It's your turn. You're you're confused, uh, having been knocked out multiple <laughs> times and <sighs> seeing <sighs> patterns. I look over Lucius. It's supposed to be your turn, but okay. <laughs> um, I rage. Okay. That's my bonus. And I... Wait, is he awake? Did he do a saving throw? I... So, uh, he, uh, Zaya healed me. Oh. I, I have six. Six HP. Cool. All right. I am going to... Attack. Okay. Raged. R recklessly. Okay. Uh... What else do I have? Recklessly. Uh, yeah, rage attack, recklessly. With my extra attack. Two attacks. Um, uh, 15. That hits. Cool. 22. That hits. 10. Yeah. 7. Yeah. And if it's not dead, I am going to. Is it dead? Yeah, you, you just slice this thing in half. It's more than enough to kill it. It was quite wounded. You just sever it in half. <laughs> Coming back from the ice. And I turn and I just look at everybody. Well, that was a learning experience. <laughs> what, what, what did you did learn? You learn? Listen to Zaya. That's right, that's right, Wolverbane. That's exactly what the lesson is. Next time Zaya says don't do something, don't do it. Next time she says do something, do do it. I, I, I see if Elrim's still in my brain. I say, you see what I got to deal with? Oh, <laughs> oh I see. <laughs> I turn to Cortion and I say, now what was this about a... Uh... About a uh, condition with which to take this. Who are you communicating with, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to explain before the gong that, that I, there's a uh, this 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 shrine is is uh, watched over by Elrum. Um, I've forgotten what he is. The, the, is the Great Worm. The Great Elrum. Worm. Sorry. Wait, 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 this wait. is the Great Worm tribe. The Great Worm, like. The name of the amulet Wolverbane is wearing, and I pointed at Wolverbane's necklace that I gave him overnight. The very same. Ah! Um, yeah. What? So yes. Wolverbane is like Wolverbane. You just you just woken up the bad guys of the tribe that you can now own because you're wearing the necklace of their master. Is this uh, what what's happening right now? Give me back that necklace. I deserve this. Excuse me. Our room hasn't said any of that. Let me just point that out, guys. But 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Cordian, just just so you know, because you went to bed so early yesterday, just to remind you, um, we remember when we fought these barbarians? They had this guy that we took. I took this necklace from that I pointed again at Wolverine's face. And um, basically, that thing is a necklace of non-detection and protection. So that would mean that your god had no idea where this guy was or is. So this Wait, guy's dead. Is that the chief? Did we I mean, already? It did would make sense. It? Am I the new chief because I have the necklace? <laughs> did we already kill the chief? <laughs> I feel like it would. Like I mean, the way I see it, if the guy was wearing the necklace of non-detection, then nothing could know where he was therefore yeah. right and and it's not like elrim explained to me um uh, that, that he did know where he was so it's not like we didn't know um uh, but yeah that would make sense that that was the chief that we killed and you took his his necklace wait where, did where i we... even know that he asked you to kill a chief uh, no no wait what did you say are we are we assuming that you've already conveyed all of this information no but i didn't even think that that was the connection she just noticed she i said the of the great uh Elrim the great worm um yeah and she it, connected yeah the but dog? she's going on about maybe we already killed that chief yeah because we did i mean if that's the, the guy that we killed when we went to the alpha yeah but you don't I know did, anything don't, about no. killing a chief right i but i think she was saying that did we I thought you were asking the question, did we kill the chief? Yeah, that's what I did. Like, we physically went, killed this guy that Wolverine is now wearing the necklace. Is it the guy that we're looking for right now? We don't know. Well, you're not looking yeah, but you for don't him. know we're know. looking for anybody. Okay, that's or the guy that you're talking about, the Grim Worm chief that... If, if I were you, <laughs> if I were <laughs> this you... This is such Zaya, a medic. I, so much yeah. medic. Well, no, if I was uh, Zaya, I'd be asking the question, oh shit, did we just kill this guy's chief? <laughs> I'd be afraid if I were you. Uh, <laughs> but I, now that, that you, you have brought up, so we are, we're going to say that you did bring up the fact that this is, that uh, that might be the chief's necklace. There's a chance uh, that Wolverine is wearing a necklace from a guy that should be here right now. I'm going to ask, so I'm going to explain to you guys that I've, uh, I've been communicating with Elrum, the Great Worm. Um, and this is, this, this is, is his chapel or his shrine essentially. Um, and he's going to give us this, uh, he's going to grant us this uh, artifact that we see here that, that um, Wolverbane so gracefully sounded. Uh-huh, Wolverbane. I'd Apologize. Like to... Yes, but you mentioned something about a condition. Yeah. Which so... I've asked you about twice. Elliot, <laughs> 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 my ears are still ringing. <laughs> you just, you just uh, hear, it, you just was, hear. it was a really good hit. Well, yes, and how did you feel about those hits that you took immediately afterward? They were just trying to compensate for how strong mine was. <laughs> uh, and uh, so the the condition is that we need to uh, kill the uh, the chief Wormblood, uh, who now who now uh, res presides over this uh, congregation. So I point to the people in the in the the rafters of the, the caves. <laughs> but now I, I would like to ask Elrum um, Elrum and I'm, I'm kind of going into my own mind again um, but I point out to Wolverbane and I say does that look familiar to you? Elrum says um, Me? yes at my yes, age does. <laughs> he says I... that is the amulet of the great worm chief I wave oh. Wolverine over. Come here, come here. Arum recognizes this. Uh, he recognizes it as the, the amulet of the Great Worm Chief. Laid upon the altar. But it's... Wolverbane, right. he's telling you to put it on the altar. I didn't hear anything. Um, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> he's been talking to me this whole time. I promise you he's real. Uh, <laughs> and You're... he's asked... You're hearing voices? <laughs> oh, shoot. I look at the others. <laughs> okay, so... Just do what he says. Wolverine, <laughs> for once in your life, just do what he says. <laughs> Wolverine, so I, I promise you, just take it off for like a minute. Put I'm going to get it altar. back, right? I'm going to yeah, get it back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Elrum says he's going to give it right back. Um, <laughs> 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 and I, I go to reach into his fur and I say, L here, let me... 
<laughs> Alright, so you- Look at this bromance, Rogadon! You take off, uh, you take off the amulet, and, uh, Corte, you take it and you, uh, place it on the altar of Elrum. Coil yeah, sort of I, flies up. I feel so exposed. When he puts it on the <laughs> altar. <laughs> See me now. <laughs> yeah, as you place it on the altar, you have coils fly up. And as it, as it flies up, and everyone's kind of coming back out. See the spectacle now that the Remmer Hazard have been killed. Coils just, just, uh, seemingly it transforms to this massive winged, winged creature. But not what? really, because these other sea coils come sneaking up from behind it. And you got hope for a second, but... <laughs> Dang it! That would've been so it's cool. Winged creature serpent comes out of the of the of the statue and flies low and looks at you, Cortion, as you place it on the altar and says, "Oh!" In, in a voice now audible to every one of you, you can all see him. He says, "Yes, this is the amulet. You have done well, Cortion and friends." So, what do we see exactly? We see a large winged creature. Oh, okay. Not a dragon. It's a winged serpent. Okay. Um, it says, You have slain an evil chieftain. A man driven by greed and selfishness. One who would bring destruction upon my tribe. I thank you. You may leave with the gong, the shield of the giants. Have you any advice as to how we could carry such a relic? I see that you have a ship out. I can fly it out there for you. Do you hear that? Uh, I, I, I look at Wolverine and I say, See? Not crazy. <laughs> can I have it back now? I'll let you deal with that. <laughs> 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 I ain't going near that thing. <laughs> its head comes swooping down. It's a massive head that just kind of towers over you, Wolverine, and says, This amulet belongs to the tribe. You may take the giant's shield. But it's mine. Yeah, she didn't cash in! Saya <laughs> so upset that she didn't cash in. <laughs> she have cashed in. Thank you very much. But we would gave... appreciate your assistance in flying. I'm speaking over anybody else who speaks right <laughs> but, now. But she gave it to me. I say, we would appreciate your assistance in bringing I... the shield to the ship. I give her a favor. As soon as possible. It's, it's mine now. <laughs> very well. give it back. <laughs> He, with a one winged kind of foot or a foot claw, he reaches down and plucks the amulet up, and it kind of disappears into the oh. aerial darkness ah! of the of the shrine. <sighs> Just pure. I get out my axe. No. Put it down, as he, as he Wolverine. Pull the axe. It just the winged creature serpent just watches you, and he's and he speaks directly to your mind, Wolverine, and says, "I sense your intentions. I know your hearts." Stole from me. <laughs> you are a man of pureness, of a pure heart. But what you do here is dark and greed. This is not you, Wolverbane. I will not bestow my gift upon you. Mm. At which point, he speaks into the minds of Rogodar, Zaya, and Corteon and says to <sighs> Duels 3 specifically, oh. Your hearts are pure and true. Not like your friend Lucius and Wolverbane. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel, Wolverine? You get grouped with me for a while. And this is the this is the turning point, and I start heading towards the evil. Wol this is the Wolverine has disappointed me. The dark arc. You steal from me, and you're disappointed. I will bestow upon you a charm, a gift that you may use in the trials and tribulations ahead, and. Like ebony from him, three little green beams shoot out towards Rogodar, Zaya, and Cortian, kind of just gently touch your forehead and it glows. You feel this warmth fill your body <laughs> for a moment before it whisks away back into Elrin. What was it? What was it? What did At I get? At which point he says to all of you audibly, I will bring the shield to your ship. And he flies. <sighs> and as he, as he flies, this, the gust of wind just batters all the snow aside. You notice now, like everyone, it's almost like these the, the, the citizens of this great cavern have never witnessed their actual deity before. There's complete silence, and they're all kind of face first in the snow. They don't dare look upon Elrin as you guys just kind of desecrate their land. 
Um, he comes in, takes the, he plucks the shield from its standing and flies outwards. Can I try to grab it? No, that's not true. I don't want to. Um, it. As for Rogdar, Zaya, and Quartzion, for you guys, you guys have been blessed, bestowed upon with the charm of restoration. Oh! What that does is, it's a it's a charm, and it has six charges, so make sure you keep count of the six charges each. You can use an action to expend some of its charges to cast one of the falling spells. I'll write this out later. But you can cast, with four charges, you can cast Greater Restoration. And with two charges, you can cast Lesser Restoration. And then once all the charges have been expended, uh, the charm vanishes from you. Oh man, we could have so had we could have had one extra thing. Oh well. So I can give those to you, uh, those details again later. Uh, Elrid flies outwards, and you, the airship's out there. Um, the the crew of your your crew are taken aback by this giant winged serpent coming to at it with a a large shields, a massive thirteen foot diameter shields. As it's you kind of hear shouting from outside off in the distance. Elrin comes flying back inwards. Um, he, so he's flown off? He... He's flown and dropped the giant shield on the ship outside okay. to the much surprise of your crew and has yeah. come back inside. <laughs> well, that was simple enough. Let's get out of here. Um, I'd like to thank Elrin for, for um, being such a, a gracious host. Uh, and I, I would like to apologize for, for Wolverbane, but I, I know that Lucius doesn't doesn't need an, any apology. Overban isn't. Are you are you doing that out loud? Uh, I, I guess I'm doing it in my head. In your mind. Yeah. Um, which I know is kind of rude to you guys, but none of you know that. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do an insight on Cordion to actually just like waiting out, or if he's actually thinking and talking in his? You do a perception check to see if he knows oh. it. Um, and I'm not trying to hide it, so. Yeah. Yeah, Cortia goes kind of goes silent for a second, stares. So you kind of figure that he's communicating with Elrin. Guys, it's okay. He's communicating. He's still communicating with someone. Elrin, I'm gonna, uh, gonna apologize for Wolverine, knowing that he's not normally like this. He's he just uh, gets tripped up on shiny things. <laughs> Elrin says, "I know. I can read the hearts of those around me. I can sense their ambitions, their intentions, and what they seek in life." Wolverbane is not like this. He's a better man than this. Treat him well. Guide him to a to a pure heart. <laughs> and and good luck with Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's at, at, at which point, uh, Elrin begins to fade away and kind of back into the statue, and disappears. I'll never forget you, Elrin. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like your arm, your arms have stretched. You have a tear rolling down your And then Coyle's lands on Cortian's hand. Yeah, it, it looked like one giant show. And as uh, are you guys heading heading out now? Well, I mean, as we're walking out, I kind of want to say, I think this was like a test ride. Like I highly doubt all the relics will be this easy to get. As Such you guys... a pessimist, Zaya. Not like you at all. I mean, I feel like this was too easy. I feel like we got tricked somehow. No, I don't know. It's... You got lucky that the DM didn't realize uh, the fire damage. We did damage. get tricked. We did get tricked. Someone <laughs> was. Fight. Someone stole from us. Okay. I mean, there was a thief here. <laughs> well, well it was also, a trade. We learn? traded, right, Wolverine? That's what we did. Oh, that is not what Corteon said. Uh, <laughs> I didn't say anything about a thief. <laughs> oh no! I you whispered said... to Cortian, "You said back." Did I say there's a thief? No, you no, said he would no. get it back. You said, yeah, yeah. You said oh, that. Wow, that he said I'd give it right back. I, I said I'd get the necklace back. Uh, <laughs> and then I, uh, I realized that, and I. I take the necklace off that that I, was given to me by Elrond, and I said, "Yes, yes, you're right." He said, he said, this is for you, Wolverbane. Uh, for, for me? For you? Is, uh, this, is, is this like people can't see me now? Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's that. <laughs> is it the invisible? Is... Cool. 
<laughs> the, the deception versus like you know, roll of deception, uh, Cortian versus your insight. I kind of want to inspire Cortian on this. Sure. I'm gonna. What do I roll? Him. And insight. And uh, just like you know, I don't know, just agree with him a lot and say that it's beautiful and wonderful, oh. and nice. Like he's gonna get up. But we didn't. Cortian's got to get inspired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Minus two. You have a plus three in deception. In charisma. Uh, so do do I pass that? Add your yes. add your uh, inspiration. Roll a d8. Oh, is it just a d8? Roll a d8. Yeah, you roll d8, one. Sorry. He meets it. Yeah. All oh, right. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it almost worked, Coratian. It was really close, but you slipped up on the intonation of some of your words, and Borbane's little intelligence somehow picked up on it. <laughs> you realize that you don't want to believe it, but you realize Cortian is lying to you. Man, Cortian, next time <laughs> try better. God damn it. <laughs> it's okay. You can keep it. Oh, look at that uh, kind. I, 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 I really oh, really fascinated remember this. around my neck. <laughs> uh, you notice as, you, as you're kind of walking and chatting and leaving, um, the crowds have parted, but they're all kind of bowing to you, Rogadar, now. They're kind of just giving like low bows to Rogadar and, mm. co- and, and coils. They're just somehow making a connection between the two. <laughs> and I say to That's Rogadar, they brought, they brought forth a great deity, <laughs> that small drink, small version. <laughs> Well, that's kind of weird. Should we get out of here before this gets any creepier for me? <laughs> yes, an old, let's. An old, an old lady comes up to you, starts like petting your face, Rogodar. There's a. <laughs> They're like, ah. Uh, I, I I like pet her head and kind of like almost push her a bit. Yes, yeah, like a child comes and grabs your leg. They're all like kind of swarming you now, Rogodar. You you brought greatness to this tribe. <laughs> as a, as Sorry, a invisibility walking... would be appreciated right now if you could do it. Do what? Invisibility would be greatly appreciated. Oh yeah, nah, it's fine, it's fine. This is good for my name. I say, I think I got a necklace for that. <laughs> 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 All right, so you guys, you guys head out. Um... As we're as we're waiting for our like, bay, our transport to get us, I want to send a it's... third message to Zephyros and say, hey Zephyros, this is this third voicemail I'll leave you. So I don't know what you, but I just want to let you know we have our own flying transport now so you can forget about coming to get us at the it's fine we got it throw a little more shade on that <laughs> all right uh, so you leave your you leave your uh, message to Zephyr. and Ro- Rogan are you fight off these, these these peasants these these folk off you as they all bitch they kind of wave to you Rogan they're all like crying and weeping and they're so happy for you they're waving to their hero um, and the uh, ship I is- kind of wave back as I'm stepping on the boat one of the women just swooned and falls over. <laughs> um, the, the yeah, the boat has landed. The sh- airship has landed. The airship Grim, and um, you guys board on it, and uh, and you don't you take off uh, none too soon. You just peace. Not right too up. soon. All right. Well, you find yourself not in Golden Fields. Disregard. All right. You board back on the ship, and Delphine's there. Just the whole crew's there, wide-eyed, and on the deck of the boat is the large shield just placed on there. It cracks some of the woodwork, and they're all kind of investigating it, freaking out, looking at the, what? Are the, what is this thing? Del- Delphine looks at you and says, "Captains, captains, we were attacked by a large serpent and it tried to bring down the ship with a large metal object, but we were able to defend ourselves." Praise be to Clove. Can tell this me, ship hold four more of these? Tell us all about how you fended off this dragon. Um, they just they like dragon. Since you were <laughs> able to defend yourselves, you say. Uh, she's like, uh, we, we fired one of the harpoons at it and struck it. And she kind of looks at one of the other guys and you see one of them just kind of toss a harpoon off the edge. Look, <laughs> our, inventory, our inventory is now missing a harpoon. We have to restock next time we're in town. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> excellent work, all of you. Thank you, Captain. Keep it up. Keep it up. For the glory of as for this, uh, as for this uh, shield that has been dropped upon the vessel, we shall keep it. 
It is an ancient giant relic, and I have no doubt that Clouth will be happy to acquire it. Ha! Huh. A very good idea, Captains. Perhaps we can mount it on the side of the ship for extra hull protection in the time being. An excellent idea. You get started on that right away. Very well. Zalthia! Rasik! Perla! And she kind of waves them all over, and they, they all come waltzing over, and they start investigating on ways how they can mount the thing on the ship, and then she orders her, her crew to bring the ship airborne. And you guys fly aboard. In the meantime, should we make for Raven Rock to the west? Um, um I'm I'm gonna s strongly suggest that we go east. I really want to go towards the southeast area, towards the Grand Forest Tree and Stone Den. So that's my goal right now. Strangely uh, enough, could I? I also would like to, to go to the why? stone stand. Yes, that would be wonderful. Rogadar and I, who else is with us? Yes, might I inquire as to your interest in that particular area? Ah, uh, um, well, sure. remember that vampire that tried to kill me? Vaguely. And the whole group of people searching for dragonborn blood? The one that Lucius didn't want to do anything about? Yeah, that's the one. Um... So apparently the cult that I'm trying to investigate used to have set up near the stone stand in the mountains there. And I figure since we got this airship, it would only take us maybe, what, a couple of weeks maybe to fly over there. I'm, 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 I'm thinking it's a really good timing with us. So, I mean, it couldn't hurt on my end. Seems like extra backtracking to me, but Stop whatever. it, Lucius. It's not always about Lucius time. It's about it's about Rogadar. Let him have his thunder, okay? And then but then again, we, we should merely, really get this giant thing sorted out soon before more trouble happens. I'm merely speaking for about efficiency. It has nothing to do with my time. Well, I mean, I'm saying let's head that way. <clears throat> Are we going to... Talk about this vampire? No, not yet. Oh, wait, right, that was before you. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta talk about that. Nighttime story there. after we decide where we're going. Hey, Cortian, you know what? If you agree with us, then and we all about it. And you can also find out why I. There is. How I vote that? against the vampire. Well, the vampire is gone for now ish. Oh, okay, now ish. Ish. <laughs> but there's more. The vampire oh, was yes. defeated and thus would have returned to its home and would need some time to recuperate. Join us, Death Seeker, and you will understand the greatness. Did you ever want to meet a vampire? Southeast. We know where one lives. Listen, I don't particularly care which of the burial mounds we head to first, but let's choose one and be on our way. So, Stone Stand. Stone Stand it is then. <laughs> so, you, look, you kind of look. You know, south of, directly south of you, shining white. One stone, and we'll run as well. Guys, I, you know, I, as well I as... don't mind if we... Wait, though. Um, yeah, so you... shining white, Everlund, stone stand, grandfather tree? Yeah, something like that. Uh, Everlund is a major city, so if you're shining white, you could probably hit up Flint Rock. Flint Rock, yeah. There's grandfather yeah. tree and stone stand. Like, there's yeah, other ones I'm gonna on the have to way. go all the way back west in the end. I mean... Is there one other... I'm telling you, Lucius, I'm going there. Which so, one did yeah, you Yeah, Raven there? Rock is like, like all the way, like... Oh, do we well, have to go to Raven Rock? Well, it's one of the burial mounds, is it not? Yeah, yeah but we don't need to go to it. all of them, right? So you, you count on your map, you see there's, oh, there, there's, about nine, there's about nine burial mounds on the map. Okay. Wait, do we have to get all the burial mounds? I think we have to do eight. You only need, you, uh, you need as many as I thought we just needed one for each person. Oh, okay. Unless someone, unless I misunderstood that. I think one, we need an extra one, one for though. each. Uh, well, I mean, it's leader. the number of giants, six. Well, the giants have their conches, though. It has nothing to do with the giant leaders. This is just for us. And <laughs> Lucius, Lucius is dying. Yeah, to get but what if? <laughs> what if we're like more powerful? It's like it's just have... it's just like hearing people say the same misconceptions over and over and over again. <laughs> All right, so you're at Great Worm, Great Worm Cavern. Where are you getting to go? There's. We're heading south. Okay, There's... we need five total, right? There's five of us. If what I if we need miscounted. more to get more? Let's let's go well, to how many giants are there? One doesn't matter for the giants. <laughs> 
So shining white flint rock, grandfather tree, stone stand. Done? Everyone happy? Yes. Let's get them all. So we're going to shining white first? I mean, we could also get silver moon. I'm in favor of acquiring them all as well, but at the same time, I can understand the value of hurrying on to our goal. For everybody. I will not, I will not push the matter too strongly. I mean, I mean we have this map, we can always find them later after. I think if right? we get two each, it's pretty good. That's not all, but that's still richer. That is it's all. It's not even enough for two each. Yeah, that is one more than all. I, I count like 15 on the map. There's nine. There's nine. nine? <laughs> Just the X's. It's the X's. Oh. Major so let's get them all! I say there's more chances of, you know, making a museum out of this and valuable. We could totally make a museum and put it in our uh, our keep that we're going to build eventually when we get yeah. to that place. Oh, Cortion, you know, on the way southeast, <laughs> you'll find out that we have a <clears throat> uh, Sorry, uh, captains. What is our next destination? Uh, Shining White. And you point to one on the map. Well, if we're going to do all, we should do Raven Rock. Damn. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, we should do Raven Rock. Where is Raven Rock? As I had suggested in the beginning. Give us one oh, minute. I, we I think the real, I think the real no. lesson here is that everybody should listen to Lucius. No. <laughs> Never mind listening to Zaya. Okay, so are we doing them all? Well, one of the crew members of Brassic kind of leads it to Delsafi and says, This is why you only have one captain. Okay, <laughs> let's do them all in case we need them all. All right, okay. so we're going. Um, I turn to Zelf to Raven Zelsafine. Rock. Or whatever her name is. Delsaphine. Delsaphine. Um, can this ship hold eight more of these relics? Of this size? Perhaps. Probably not. Oh, um, are you sure you'd be carrying objects of this size? We, we can we can deposit some of them later on. So We've seen safe two. Holds. They've both been... The other one was larger than this. Well, uh, perhaps we can deposit them somewhere. Do you have a, have a home or a... Uh, base of operations? What about if we leave them at like Vexilanthus or something? That's pretty safe. Or we could always acquire a key. I mean, we have a land. We just never went there. Mm -hmm, Lucius, also, your fault. We never went there. Was it my <laughs> fault? <laughs> How many times have I suggested land? That we that we, we needed should. to go in the opposite direction. It wasn't my fault. I mean, it could have been a nice little detour and seen some scenery around and acquired some land. The, and now the, our it's kind of has been flying at this point. Um, Del Delsafine has just kind of taken charge of the situation. Okay. Also, okay. Why does are anyone we have a starting? coin? Heads, we get them all. Tails, we just no, get the ones we we're need. Getting them we're getting all. them all. We're getting them all. We're getting them all. That's fine. The thing is, are, why are we starting west and not east? I turn Raven. to Delsvine. I say Raven Rock. Yeah, Raven I Rock. agree with that. Very well. We Raven were heading Rock. to Shining what, uh, said South, but we want to head westward. Very well. You are the commanders, the captains of the ship. And uh, she points to the driver, and they turn it westwards to Raven Rock. So why are we starting west instead of east? Because we can get them all in one fell swoop in the most efficient manner possible. Okay. All right. Sure. And because we like reading left to right. <laughs> well, it's basically a crescent moon shape that we can follow from the west across to the east. Yeah. Everland will be about two thirds of the way through the journey. We can make a stop there if you wish. Wait, so are we going to get our land on the way as well? Yes, Saya, we'll get our land. Nice. Our estate? We can do that between Shining <laughs> yes, White and our, Flint Rock. Our undoubtedly empty land that we will probably we'll have to spend with thousands no of gold to build on. Yes. I mean, we actually have a tower, an instant tower that we could use. Oh, that That's is true! That's what we should do with it, actually. That's very safe. In? And no one can get in because password that I'll come up with soon. I think we're in the wrong spot. Oh, yeah, I'm just, the maps are just. This so is off. this is the dream I'm having that night. Yeah, you just kind of remember the Great Worm Cavern. You're just like, oh. <laughs> instant death for Wolverine almost. The gong it calls me. Yeah. Which is the right one? Nope. That's Karen. That's Raven, Raven, Raven Rock. Yeah, Raven Rock. Oh, okay, I see. It looked exactly the same. I didn't expect it to be uh, snowy. 
do it. It's just snow everywhere. Does anyone well, have a pet, pet raven for this one? Oh, well. Um, you... Give me a second. I can change coils into a pet raven. Wait, are we there already? <laughs> to do the same thing for everyone. You guys journey westward. It takes a few days to get there. They're really putting... This detention in the group, obviously not knowing where to go. It's the crew just get a sense that they... You guys just need to get everywhere quick because if you take it any time at all, there's too much time for this. Uh, you guys won't get anywhere. So they should, they really they really press the fire elements to just, just keep going hard. They get they make some good timing with the winds and, and whatnots. Uh, in a couple days, you guys uh, you know take a little short your short rests or your long rests. Oh sweet. Um, of course. And we takes... all we all swap stories and get a little bit closer. Yeah. Yes. I, I tell actually... Kochan about the vampire. Oh, all right. Sweet. So I know about the vampire. You give all the details of the vampire. I regale him with uh, all my heroic deeds in Fallen. <laughs> yeah. I actually also want to tell uh, Cortian a bit about my backstory as well. I tell Cortian nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we all, we I all tell Cortian about Lucius. <laughs> <laughs> that so just leaves we... me to fill in the blanks. So uh, how are you going to do this? Are we actually... Are you gonna just? Mm, when are we gonna we'll take just time? agree. I think um, if you have anything for me to read, otherwise we can do it after we turn off the camera. Okay, well, you should come for chicken that. wings today, and we'll, we'll actually swap stories. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what chicken wings tonight? Do you guys always go out afterwards? No. Oh, uh, so okay. Yeah. We'll afterwards. Oh, we can talk. Uh, <laughs> as you guys, uh, a couple of days have passed. Belsafin has indicates to you we are approaching the place on the map. Uh, good captains of the ship. And you kind of look over the edge, and you kind of you see what appears to be man-made mounds created on the landscape. It's a nestled still within the spine of the world. You guys can't seem to escape this location, this spine. But nestled in the icy slopes of the spider world, you see these spirit mounds of of tribes of some sort of Uthgard tribe. Um, uh, you you spot kind of in the center this large statue of a raven, kind of similar to the one you saw in the Great Worm tribe. But this time, like this, of a, a raven, and on the southern side of the the mounds, you also see kind of a, a shape of a wolf, kind of impressed into the 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 hill itself. Uh, looking around, you notice these large black giant ravens are flying around. They're circling around the area, just doing like making circles and passes, just generally in the area. And you guys are free to land wherever you want. Land? Unless you want to jump off the aircraft. No, but do we see people this time? Uh, make a perception check. Doing a perception check. Oh, top left corner. Fifteen. You see nobody. You don't see presences. You or a Delta. Uh, I, I kind of want. I would say let's. Let's land outside of what appears to be. Uh, there are no, there's no city here. It's just a hidden location in the mountains. It's just hills. Okay, so I don't know at all. How's it? Let's land by the Raven statue. You can describe by uh, pointing on the map. Where you... Okay, so by the Raven Rock, or okay. All right, so the crew bring Unless the airship. We'd rather check out the altar. I mean... uh, we can walk over there. The altar was useful last time. Do I see a gong? <laughs> Make your perception check. <laughs> There's one on the ship. <laughs> Whoa, would you look at that? <laughs> what are I, I get out my shovel. <laughs> Can you tell me what cairns is? They're like yeah, uh, cans. They're they're just giant. They're just like mounts where they um very sh What's stuff the difference it. with mini or those are just large stone rocks that are like erected. And if you look at the if you look at the um, southern picture, you can kind of see what they look like. They're, the they're rocks. Yeah, they're just sto they're like stone rocks. Men here, and you can tell you can judge by the way they're placed, and the, it, they seem to be kind of cardinal directions. Ways this is to, like a no, the cairns are, but the, okay. the men here are more like seems to be used in sort of kind of judging time and seasons, you know, it's sort of like made in a, in a way around their altars to, as a, uh, a almost like a, a calendar, a clock. Oh, okay, so like this a is like a sanctuary, there's like, probably 
tombs of some sort. And yeah, then... it's a burial mount. Right. Okay. Um, Can I examine these sort of banner things? They're, they're, I guess they're raven roosts, according to the. They, they are just, yeah, they are roosts. Uh, you look, uh, so they, the ship lets you down off a ladder, and you guys climb down in front of this statue. Uh, look at those roosts. They are kind of like, yeah, banners flowing, um, made of uh, furs, but on it there are black paintings of, in this area, of of a black raven symbol. Of a, some sort of Raven Uthgard tribe. We're really going to have to pick up that language. <laughs> we don't even know what language it is, right? Is, I mean, wait, there, is there writing on them? Sorry. I no, just the, just a symbol of the Raven. Of okay. a raven. Is there writing anywhere? <laughs> uh, nope. Okay. But, no, 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 nothing. Just, uh, just. Giant ravens are circling around you and watching you and just, they're kind of observing you. I want to I, investigate the statue for any, uh, anything interesting. Alright, sure. Make an investigation check. Do ravens count as beasts? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. just lagging. <laughs> I want to try something afterwards. 12, 12, always 12. Yeah, I know, it's always 12. Uh, you <laughs> you notice that kind of there's at the feet of this raven statue, so kind of a large basin that's used for offerings. You see the remains of bones, some meat, some some strange fruits have been placed in here. Can you, can you also tell me what's raven roost? What does that mean? It's where ravens, the, they rest. They stand on their rest. Like a nest? Like, oh, they're like perches. Like perch? Okay. Yeah. Do you know what a flock of ravens is called? I need help with vocabulary. A kindness. An unkindness. Oh, right. It's it's because... Or a conspiracy. It's because uh, in Curse of Strahd, the, uh, the were-raven groups are called kindnesses, I think. Oh. So, is there a real around ravens? Is there Just any... large ones. Live ones? Alive? They're circling the ship. They're kind of watching from the distance. If, I, there, uh, if I, I transform into a raven, then do, can I talk to them? No. No? Uh, are they beasts? I, uh, um, can I start looking around for any, you know, giantish type things? I would like to sure. check out that altar again. Yeah, I just want to sort of like walk around the whole area. Yeah. At some point. You guys should not leave Wolverine alone. <laughs> There's no gongs here. I feel fine leaving Wolverine alone. <laughs> that was famous last words. <laughs> Wolverine, come come with me and let me uh, tell me about your story as we go check out this. Is altar. there is there any like footprints any s anywhere that I can see? So I'm just trying to answer. Uh... I have my, damn it, I don't have my PHP with I have it here. Or my, uh... I would, I would assume they'd be counted as beasts if they're a natural yeah. creature. Yeah, they're a natural creature. They're beasts. Okay. Uh, I'm going to concentrate and cast Speak with Animals on myself. Okay. And then and I call out to the closest raven. They're all super high up. But... I'm going to yell out. Okay. Ho, oh, friends! <laughs> as, they're, as they're kind of circling this large area, one takes a little poop. Um, you kind of just shout out, Ho, oh, friends! into the distance. In what you guys hear is just a squawk. And uh, I think that's where I end for the night. <laughs> <laughs> while, he, uh, while he has to research what he's going to say. <laughs> I got it. Uh... It is 9.30, though. Yeah, that's true. Well, guys, I like these kind of questions. These are cool Good questions. Good times. Are, these are very straightforward, know what we're doing kind of quests for once. Yeah. And what, Wolverbane, count yourself super lucky tonight. I will make that mistake again. <laughs> I will not make that mistake again. You have no idea how cheesed and, and salty I am right now. <laughs>
But you know, we got a cleric with us now. Were, we're fine. We were dead pretty low HP though. If the fireball didn't work, Lucius is probably gonna just shock him or something. Yeah, but they would all have attacked you once, and you would have been that whole round have killed you because none of the other. Good none thing of the... We have uh, a death cleric with us. Yeah, I would. I would have had some plans. Yeah, it would have been fun though. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. But you're it right. was fun. Right. It was it was fun the way it was. No, no I'm still oh, angry. <laughs> Thanks guys, for watching, guys, everybody. You guys can all thank me that there was a battle this this game. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, can. because that's something yeah, that we we, some we all crave. You're the only person who gets <laughs> ex antsy when we don't have combat. <laughs> it's beautiful. You, you're the only person thanking yourself. Mm, thank <laughs> you. That's right. Just remember that. Wolverbane, you get one attack. No, Wolverbane no. learned his lesson. I myself have also learned that I, I love to have combat at any opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope it was uh, hope it was enjoyable for you as it was for us. And uh, we should be back next week with another episode of the Gilded Dice. That's uh, right. Yeah. Bye. 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 Have a new year. Bye.